Hello, everybody. Hello. It's Sunday. How's everyone doing? I see Miss Kiki Prime, first one in the building. She says, hey, love, I'm waiting. If I have to leave, I will catch the replay. No problem. And sorry to hear about what happened. I watched it just before I came on. You're live. I'm like, that's cray cray. That's freaking cray cray. I mean, wow. <laughs> Girl, you see, I have self-control, but you definitely have to, you have mastered it <laughs> i've mastered self-control you know but i mean you know yeah <laughs> you've listened to me but i've mastered it a certain kind of way but girl you have definitely mastered it okay kudos to you hun mm -mm -mm. Hey, Renice, how you doing, Betty? How you doing, my love? Oh, my sisters is in the building. Lakeisha, I see you up in here nice and early. Mm -hmm. Come through, y'all. Come through. Share the live where it's acceptable at because, you know, yeah, that shit ain't for the, the, the weak viewers. Like, not weak viewers, but people who just can't hear, you know, stand to hear certain things. You know, I encourage you guys, you know, when it gets too much for you, you make sure you walk up out of here and say, you know what, Chase, I'm going to see you later. Like, you know, something like something like that. You know, I'll come back to one of your commentary where it's a little bit more lighthearted, you know, and not so much, you know, in a, in a vulgar, you know, manner okay so i hope everybody had a beautiful day today um hi laura how you doing i'm seeing in your name so tanya my sister virgo i see y'all coming through voice lady i see y'all adult is definitely live in the building okay definitely live we have we have great things to talk about um let me see hey family all the pretty girls are over here hey <laughs> hey <laughs> let's get it i mean that wasn't you know that wasn't all for anything that was just completely right you know hi yolanda how you doing love how you darling lynn i see you tyrese in the building hey y'all come through come through come through Hi, Gap Girl. I'm seeing you over here. The why is I hate when certain things don't come on StreamYard. Like, that's weird. Hi, Gap Girl. How you doing, love? Surviving Filmo Africa. I'm going to say Filmo. How you doing, Filmo? Welcome, welcome, welcome to DOLT Live. For the ones in that don't know, that is dishing out local tea, okay? Um, let me see Petty Betty up in the building. Anybody with the name Petty Betty? Oh, they they talk shit. Okay? <laughs> they be talking shit out here, okay? So, yeah. Hey, Petty Betty. Thanks for coming through. Michelle, girl, is up in the building. Alicia, how you doing? Danny, Danny, girl, thank you. Thank you for putting out that video because guess what? Like, you know, I, I get short attention span with this bitch, you know what I mean? Because I was like, okay, I already have my commentary, so I'm just going to come out here and talk about the disgusting um, things that went down last night with her and her sister and check this bitch, you know what I mean? That's what I was going to do, you know? And I... <laughs> I don't know. It just came across my screen, like right before I'm like getting ready to come on. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, let me click on this video, you know, flashback. Cause you know, my name is not in the title or nothing, you know? So I'm just like, you know, okay. It looks like it's going to be a funny video. So I click on it and I watch the video and I'm like, whoa, 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 back up. What? <laughs> And I was just like, oh, F Jesus. I said, wait. <laughs> and I heard the most ridiculous thing, but it's an awesome video. Thank you so much. And um, I got to hear what she was saying, you know, so I want to correct her. You know, that's great commentary right there. So I got to correct that. It's something that I missed. And like I said, no one is lying on you because they're just playing your shit <laughs> okay um so we get to see exactly what you say okay uh let me go up and see what danny said i think i missed it right there okay there she goes she said hey chase and everyone thanks for the share i appreciate you live share thank you hon thank you very much well appreciated um kiki said hi everyone i miss she's saying hey to all y'all so yeah big up 
speak up for herself in here, okay? Donna said, laugh out loud. Oh, she's going to get it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading a little bit through here. And then, you know, I'm going to just, you know, go on and do my thing. You get what I'm saying? Just relax. Like I said, take your shoes off when you come over here. I don't allow shoes over here. And that's hitting the like button. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. And make sure you guys um, enjoy your girl. Uh, let me see. My girl said, D-O-L-T. Y'all got this game on lock. Very organized. Yes, it's very much organized over here. These ladies are amazing. Okay, absolutely amazing. They have, you know, went through the rockiest of the rockiest with me. And this is what stands with us now. Okay, that's it. You know, we made our own little self sector going on and we're doing our own thing you know so all the ladies have their channels and you know we're moving around we're doing our thing shout out to all the new people that's coming in get to know us michelle said check her girl <laughs> yes definitely girl a hot humidity <laughs> man she is she is i was coming here to talk about the whole situation last night but honey when i hear her saying like advice and all that Bitch, I didn't give you advice. I told you what to do, okay? I told you what to do, and you did it, okay? You laid up there and said, you know what? While you was talking about Kiki, you like, yeah, I I'm going to get my hair braided. I'm going to do that. No, you ain't never, like, breathe anything like that until I told you what the fuck to do. I told you to take those stinky braids out of your hair, and I told you to take them bull dagger braids out of your hair and go get your hair washed and get that sucker braided. That's what I said. And take your kids with you and go get their hair braided too. That's what I told you to do. And you got that little girl here touched after how many months? But when I said it, you did it, bitch. I told you what the fuck to do. Don't ever think I'm giving you advice, okay? I'm telling you what the fuck to do. And you did it. <laughs> you did it. Okay. Yeah. I, I wanted your attention because you, you, you kept trying to roll around it. Like, okay, I'm just going to go back and forth with you. No, I don't do that. Okay. I don't do back and forth. What I will do is come out here and give good ass commentary that I know people want to hear on a dusty ass mammy like you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, let me finish reading through here. Darling, I see you 18 months in the building. Take them shoes off and get comfortable. Yes, my love. Um, new subby in the building. Welcome, welcome. Look at Tiffany up in here laughing. Love of London. How you doing, London? Come through, come through, come through. Let me see, Virgo and Baddie Jazzy, y'all are life in here. I came for the good read today. I know they are beautiful women, absolutely beautiful. Those my sisters, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Artists, how you doing, love? How you doing? Thanks, Jazzy. Hey, don't the girls is <laughs> cray cray? Absolutely. We're gonna kick off with the um, you know with the she can't take no shoes off in here she gonna be breathing and hovering over this live you know but anyway i just wanted to make that clear that wasn't advice i told this chick what to do and she did her you know and she did it she did it she's just in her feelings because she doesn't even know what to say she even tried to she said the only difference between me and her is that i have legs <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, that was hilarious. I try not to be insulted by that, but you know, I you know, I, I gotta let her know today that, you know, it, it's a lot, it's a big difference, okay? Jazzy said, uh, we've been here rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling, and keep on moving. Lakeisha said, got me some lobster legs. <laughs> Get your lobster legs going, girl. They sound good. Um, set it off braids. Yeah, it's got them bull dagger braids going back for how long. Dirty went on a whole trip and everything. Hey, OG Jamel, come through, hun. Come through, come through. Hit that like button. Yolanda, this girl is crazy, OG. <laughs> That's why I say, you know, if this begins to be too much for you, I, you know what I tell you guys, go, okay, just go. If you don't want to hear me talk about uh, amputee nubs and, you know, and, and stuff like that, I, I definitely tell you to tap out because I do have lighter hearted content or whatever, but I just don't have it for her, okay? I don't have it for her. She's not, mm -mm. <laughs> not at all. She's absolutely disgusting. Okay, so... Uh, Let's get into this commentary. And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. 
You are obsessed and sick. Shout out to everybody who's made a fake page just to stare at me and spy on me. You are obsessed and sick. Okay? Okay, I'll be right back and let's get into something else. Rappers like me. So they can get on their keyboards and make me the bad guy, Chung. New York makes a noise! So, 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 so last night we on Bad Adult channel, right? We over there chilling, maxing, relaxing, talking about all types of stuff, you know, and um, someone came in the chat. They found us over there at Baddie channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe over there, okay? Well, anyway, she, um, you know, the person came in, I don't know if it's here or she, I think it's a guy, a dude named, you know, came up in the chat and said, hey, uh, Sunny's over there um, fighting with her sister. She hit her sister and all types of stuff. So naturally, yo, we're like, oh, shit, thanks. You know, we went over there and started chilling. We were minding our business, you know. Um, but like I said, I knew I knew things was going to get turned up tonight. I told my sister, I'm like, yo, this is what she do every weekend and never pass because the bitch is so miserable, y'all, because she's just thinking about the club. You know, she's ready to, uh, you know, she miss selling poom poom, miss selling Poom poom to broke ass niggas that wasn't even doing nothing. Like, I mean, come on, like, girl, how you selling poom poom for so damn long and actually bragging about it? And you in a basement with ceilings falling down, okay? Not even having your right equipment, you know, not even living like a princess in that room. The fuck a princess, you know, living decent down there because you could never have princess treatment. No nigga will ever give you princess treatment. The only good princess treatment you ever fucking got in your life is when Marcus motherfucker fucking so-called you know lift you up and put you on a goddamn arm um, shoot to fly around looking like a goddamn potato flying look like i threw a goddamn potato okay like stop it stop it you can't compare to me you can't compare to anybody that you're threatening and going on so cut that shit the fuck out so anyway back to my story we over there and you know my sis recorded all of that i think she took the video down is the video going because we didn't see we didn't see the video you know um so anyway but we got the footage i'm sure my sis gonna make some videos and post them and stuff like that i'll probably do the same thing too but i you know but anyway being that i'm doing this commentary you know i think she should definitely do the video but anyway uh, <laughs> go over there and this girl with one arm is over there throwing blows and all of this and worrying about somebody taking care of her. Bitch, if you could throw a blow like that, you can do anything with that goddamn arm, okay? You don't need nobody to do nothing for you if it's like that, okay? You throwing blows at the same friggin' sister that you putting on camera and bully to put on camera to threaten somebody with a gun? Girl, you're wild. You're wild. And you know what? Nobody gave you that bottle and whatever else you was on, allegedly, in my opinion, you understand me, why that whole shit happened to you. Nobody didn't, she didn't give you that. Your family didn't give you that. You made a careless ass decision because you couldn't control your motherfucking emotions over a nigga that don't fuck with you. I saw the text messages on Facebook, girl. You was pathetic begging that nigga to be in your life. You over there talking about all oh, bragging you're a single mother and you did it and all that. Bitch, you had no choice. You had no choice. Don't make it seem like it was on you and, oh, you had a... No, you didn't have a choice but to do that because he didn't want to fuck with you. He didn't even want to look at you. He didn't even want you with two legs and you mad because he wouldn't even be there with you with motherfucking um, no legs okay that's it and that's all she was trying to show people she can still throw a hand at a sister that's just freaking uh 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 fucked up over there okay that little girl looked mentally freaking challenged and you're doing all of that for what first of all this is why you're supposed to be getting the aid that you need, okay? I'm going to let you know. I, I ain't advising you. I'm telling you what the fuck to do. This is what you're going to do, all right? You're going to get the fucking help that you need, so you won't have to stress nobody over friggin' wiping your goddamn shit bag, uh, taking you up and down the goddamn stairs or whatever, or doing any of that fuck shit. You're putting pressure on them people, all right? They are mentally, especially your sister, she's mentally challenged. 
she doesn't have the ability to be patient for you to be running back and forth and doing things no matter what the fuck you say you do for her which is nothing and you saying she needs to look up to you what the hell is she looking up to you for what did you oh to go um get fucked up chase after niggas uh, uh do all this crazy shit to yourself uh freaking uh harass your kids bully them every freaking thing i mean what what does she have to look up to you're not even doing the right thing like as far as you know as an amputee you can you're not even taking care of yourself you're not even keeping yourself together so that you can even be here longer on this earth for years you're just weakening out your fucking body looking crazy mentally okay it's all in your face you look bad, your collarbone sticking out to the fucking T, all of that, girl. Take a good look at yourself and you fucking trolls in there. Let me tell you something. You are help breaking down them bitches because y'all motherfuckers is mentally fucking ill yourself, okay? Y'all bitches over there laughing while she's screaming at them kids. That bitch wouldn't even give her child a chance to tell her about school. Why nobody don't want to hear that? You a fucking bully. So disgusting. Everybody's freaking crazy over there. Like, what the hell? Girl, you need to be gone somewhere. Because ain't no way in hell you're going to be doing that shit to the kids over and over. And we going to be here. She is a bully. We here. We here to talk about it. And you mad. You mad because we talking about it. You mad because what you showing is what we putting out. You mad talking about everybody's lying on you when nobody's fucking telling a bit of a bit of freaking lie because I watched it for myself. Back and forth. Back and forth. Okay. Okay, Donna. L let that bitch know. Hold on. Let that bitch know. He don't want her. The daughter, the daughter, the sister was in line last night. She said, nobody don't want to deal with you. And it's the truth because I've even said that before. They don't want to deal with her. I heard when she called the sister uh, or whoever it was, or Anna or somebody on the floor, they, they was just like, you know, throwing her ass off. She sat there all day on the first trying to get, um, trying to get out that goddamn house. But bitch, you, you bout it? How you bout it? selling pum pum all them freaking years for you to just be sitting there with not a fucking savings to fucking go on like you a bum bitch you could never talk to me you want some money bitch do you want me to come and drop a couple hundred on you bitch because that's all you get <laughs> huh you want me to drop something on you you over there as a fucking charity case and talking about somebody hell no bitch that's not how it goes and like i said i got your attention motherfucker at Michelle got to let her know she about um nothing, one arm and no legs. And she's not even doing anything about it. You, she's not doing anything to fucking level up. Even with that, she's an amputee. You can still level up. You can still level up, bitch. Instead, you choose to be a bum, <laughs> a fucking rotten potato. Yeah, on nubs. And I told you, bitch, that when you freaking say my name, I want you to say it standing on your fucking nubs. That's what I want you to do. Because other than that, it, 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 it means nothing. Okay? I want to see how strong you really are, bitch. Okay? Not for a little slow sister that you got over there. N not like that. All right? The way you talk, you definitely have some strength in you to stand on the nubs and fucking say, yeah, Chase, Chase. Yes, this motherfucking Chase, like what they're sad bitch what you talking about hey bella donna let me read some of your comments chris fast juice reveals that her sister gets tired of tending to her right that's not her job that's not her job she doesn't have the patience barely for herself she barely can freaking put her hair together you see she dirty you see she got a, a stocking cap on her head she ain't doing nothing they all in there looking like the same shit um, let me see. She said that's why she needs an aid, right? Or a microwave or a hot plate, something in that basement for starters, right? Absolutely. Talk about she don't want to be there. So you're going to have, you're going to sit there and have them kids in that dark ass corner looking crazy. Girl, you, cr what? Um, did you catch um, when her little sister said nobody want to be around her, right? Exactly. Exactly. I heard it completely. Nobody want to be around you. And she's like, oh, look, now listen. No, she's telling the truth. 
everything she was saying on that phone, she was telling the truth, whoever she was talking to, okay? She's telling the truth about you. <laughs> yeah. Talking about she needs to look up to you. Look up to what? Look up to what? You can't teach that girl nothing. Talking about you try. Try to do what? Try to have a fight everybody for you because you don't got your fucking legs now? Like that? You weird. And she don't got to do shit for you. That's why you have to go and get your freaking aid. But no, you want to sit there and fucking feel sorry for yourself and freaking smoke yourself to a fucking, like, crazy, like a pulp. Let me see. Donna said, go over there and let me see. Go over there. Put her in the hover round wheelchair on top of the mountain. What? What do you call that mountain out there again? I forgot. Yeah, write down that shit. She would, I think she would really like that. I really do. Her sister is tired. Her sister is tired. And then the people are condoning it like, oh, yeah, they, um, nobody wants to do nothing for you. Uh, this and that. No, no, they're tired. Most people are not mentally able to do that shit. She's selfish. She was selfish from the beginning to the end. You talk about you was a boss. So what about now? Why you keep talking about was? So you're not a boss now? You, you're screaming like you're a boss. And please don't call nobody broke because you are the, I mean, a, a broke bitch. Ain't no way I'm being no amputee and I'm being a fucking broke bitch but, and on YouTube. I'm milking the game. I'm milking the game. That's where we, 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 we different. You're not a hustler. Stop lying that you was a hustler because you used to fuck dirty niggas. Okay. <laughs> Stop lying. All right. It, it, it just don't fit up. It just don't add up because I just don't believe that you would be in your position. At least have your own place. Okay? At least you should have had some retirement on that shit. But no, instead you did the same thing. You bought a broke nigga and you sat around, cried, chased after him, did all that. You did all the chasing. What kind of bad bitch are you? Huh? What kind of bad bitch do that? Shit. Uh, I, I need time. I need time. You don't want to see me happy. He's like, yo, move up. Like, <laughs> I'm back to back to back. You, girl, chill. Chill out. Chill out, Tiffany. I love you for loving it here. Let me see the sister, not no CNA. Right. And she don't want her to get paid to take care of her. The people um, paying the family members to take care of rebel, uh, relatives. And she said, no. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because she don't want to see nobody boss up around. She don't, she don't want to do nothing. And the little she do, yo, she, she fucking talking about noodles. Noodles, y'all. Noodles. Let somebody buy your pack of noodles and you over there bossing up. Oh, oh my gosh. Donna said they look dirty. Two poor babies. Yeah, it's both of them. So what the hell is she teaching her? What the hell is she teaching her? Not a damn thing. Nobody want to look up to a bitch like you. Feel sorry for your babies. Have to deal with your bullshit every goddamn day, you selfish whore. <laughs> selfish. <laughs> okay, shout out to you artists for giving 10 badges. Thank you, darling. I know my mods are going to snapshot and send that to me so I can see all the people that got the badges. I know her kid's father, Dusty, as fuck. He is. He is. He really is. Devonte. <laughs> Devontae's very dusty too, okay? She used to be begging Devontae and crying for Devontae every goddamn minute, okay? That's what that's what she did, okay? Devontae wasn't even trying to look her goddamn way, all right? She gonna talk about, oh, I haven't been with my baby daddy in about two years. Yeah, he was definitely going after that. He never stick around to fucking do nothing when help you, period. He was out of there. Why? Why? Because you was always fucking nasty boss lady said no ma no mammy zone absolutely woo chow <laughs> this is the no mammy zone okay if you know you know all right virgo said artist you bringing them out the bushes thanks boo i can't wait to see who you brought out the bushes let me see juice reveal said making fun of her sister for only getting 200 dollars paycheck each pay period i was like damn she low as fuck at least the girl trying to work right absolutely absolutely 
you know, and that's when I look at her like, yo, you really a dirty bitch and you really don't want nobody leveling up around you or, or, or even feeling good about you, around you. Anybody that's happy around her, like, nah, that's too much. That's too much. That shit drains the fucking demon. It drains, it, it drains the hell out of the demon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Carmen Lee, that bitch, isn't that her mod over there? Isn't that her mod over there? Girl, you rather, come on, take this good commentary. You see, Sonny, you know, these bitches, let me tell you what they do. They come over here and they listening to me drag you. They love that shit. That's how it goes on these streets, okay? They gonna come over here and listen to you get drag. They don't give a fuck. Let me see, Marcus, the interviewer. Hey, what's up? What's up, YouTube? <laughs> <Center>. <laughs> I'm done sleeping with homeless women. I mean, I mean, and men, please forgive me, y'all. No, you don't get no forgiveness over here, okay? It, you, you just not. <laughs> oh my God. So you see, she's a medicine society on wheels that needs to be stopped, right? Like, girl, you you are a whole freaking clown out here, and you talking about some uh, what you used to. You no, know, y'all listen to um Danny video. This girl's talking about what she used to sell her poo poo, and it was very very. Uh, even the picture she put out with herself, like that, don't look like somebody that was selling poo poo. Like, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I hope I hope you're lying. I really hope you're lying because I seen the place. The place was trash. Okay. Okay, uh, 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 the place the place was completely trash. So I don't get that part. Right. Thanks for the view. You see how your people are. They love to come over here and watch you get dragged. They want to hear you get talked about like being a whole mammy. You over there, Carmen. Carmen Lee, you over there sitting, chilling under a bitch that talked to her kids like shit. Call them bastards. Sit there dusty all day and all you could sit there and do it friggin condone it who are you carmen what kind of life you living what kind of life you living to be over there sitting up under that and condoning it that you know everything that's coming out my mouth is the truth she was wrong as fuck last night and she lied right in your face and y'all kept on rolling with it she said oh she was in my face she was kept walking up in my face i wouldn't roll up on her i'm in the chair and she freaking rolls that chair up and 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 sailed over there and there rolled her ass over there and go hit that girl okay she didn't hit her and she walked away so she ha actually has more self-control than she does because i would have knocked your ass over and i'm sure anybody else any one of us would have knocked your ass over for that okay i told you before nobody owes you shit Okay, nobody owes you shit. So stop sitting there playing the fucking pity party because somebody, oh, 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 they won't heat up my food. They won't do that. No, bitch. Call one of them niggas that you talking about you can give your punani to at any moment and tell them to bring you some warm food in that through that back door. Okay, do that. All these niggas you say want you and the friends and all that, where the fuck they at? Because all I see is you freaking bugging your family and being in your feelings because they don't want to fucking wait on you hand and foot all day every damn day if you talking about we see what you do you see uh you got to take care of kids they help you take care of kids. no if they're taking care of the kids that's just going to be it because you're not helping them you're not helping them at all you're just around there telling them what the fuck to do shit let me see Hey, Miss Loretta, how you doing, love? <laughs> Hi, Indigo Blue in the building. I really want to see her people in the wheelchair, in the wheelchair, be having the worst attitude. Yes. Yes. And she got one. She got one. Purdue legs. She got legs. <laughs> Shake my head. Let me see. Man, I would have freaking knocked her ass over. The sister freaking spared her ass over there. Spared you, bitch. You ain't tough. You ain't tough at all. Okay, you was looking weak. You had to go lay the fuck down right afterwards. Right after being disgusting, you had to go lay the fuck down. Looking pitiful. 
Did she take the live down? Because I think I, I don't want to put it on my stream yard, but damn sure going to be making a video for the ones of them that didn't see it because a few people was asking about it. Okay. Shoots. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Auntie Loretta over there too. Um, Jazzy, I think you, you unhid, you hid Indigo Blue. I think, uh, Indigo Blue, if you're not um, blocked, please let us know because I think it's, I think I saw it say block. She privated to members only. Okay. And, and and what? It's like three members. Her mods are not even fucking members in that chat. That's how much support she got. They don't they don't lay it down on her over there, but they sit there because they are fucking depressed people that just want to friggin' sit there and just want uh, to watch another train wreck. You get what I'm saying? They're comfortable with watching a train wreck because they're fucked up. Okay. Tyree said, I heard her say the sister didn't want to help her clean up. Um, you can't clean nothing. Only thing you could do is roll a blunt, bitch. Right, exactly. Let me tell you, she can freaking do the same thing she do. That She rolled that blunt with one hand just like that. <laughs> Taz, that's one of our sisters. She was over there on the panel with us last night while we were listening to the action. And she was like, what? She knows how to roll a blunt? Like, she was over there, you know, feeling sorry for her because I'd be dragging the fuck out and telling and telling her what the fuck to do. You get what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, I feel a little bad. I say, yeah. Okay, <laughs> take a take heat on this bitch. Go watch this bitch and you will see for yourself. She even went in the chat and was like really polite to her and said something, gave her some advice or pointers or whatever. And I said, she's not going to take that. Watch her freaking deflect and talk shit to you. And that's exactly what she did. That's exactly what she did because she doesn't know how to take good woman's advice because she's not used to that. She's always been trash. You always been trash, Sonny. You always been trash. Okay? We're from two different worlds. Completely two different worlds. You you, you was a badass. You was a fucking tyrant. You was a fucking tyrant. A low life. Okay? I knew it, laugh out loud, stink, not stink, just stink. Oh, Marcus, <laughs> he didn't even answer, okay? That, that shit was funny. He didn't even answer when she said that. And she called him. I was watching somebody's video, and she called him. And before she accepted to go on the um, St. Croix trip, you know, she called him and was talking shit on the phone about, you know, um, oh, you cheating on me on, on already and all this other stuff. I'm like, girl, what? That's why you're so hurt right now. You really thought he was going to take you down. I saw, you know, the, the video they had together when she basically accepted, you know, to go on a St. Croix trip with him or whatever. And she was just like, you know, sitting there with the M on her face and, and shit written and just was just like, yeah, I got this nigga in the bag. You know, I got it, you know, and you and this is why you're where you're at right now. Because you need to realize who you are. You need to realize, well, you said it, you're the fetish, but I don't think you believe it. And I do believe that you were just that content and fetish. Somebody said that, oh, they don't think that it's, you know, it was for content, but he said it out his mouth. He literally said it out his mouth. Out, <laughs> Kiki posted that video. He went live and played that video. Okay. And it's there. Uh, let me see. Elisa said, yep, I saw that too. That lady wasn't telling her nothing wrong. She goes off for the wrong reason. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why I'm like, everybody's been cupcake to you. Everybody's just been like, you know, like anybody can come to you and say to you, girl, why are you doing that online? Why you got them kids looking like that? Why are you hollering at them? Why are you exposing yourself? You literally lift up your shit. What kind of bitch that was used to sell poom poom? Lift up their stuff and for free. You wasn't getting nothing on that live. And that live wasn't getting paid shit because I saw how you was running on there. Okay? And what? That had to come down. So, I mean, you're not, you're not even doing it for the bread. You're just doing it because you're just a weak bitch. Ain't nothing solid about you. You can't even be solid for your own kids, girl. You can't even be solid for yourself. You can't even do that. Um, she said she has to air the um the bag out because it stinks. Oh my gosh, she said um he ate the box. Yes, that bag is too close to that cat. Right, exactly. Literally a torso with the bag hanging right there. 
So you know he ain't wrapped too tight. We already know he ain't wrapped too tight with that. Come on now. Shit. Donna said hospital smell <laughs> She always smell like she just had a baby. <laughs> yeah, I know that smell. <laughs> right. I think that's where she need to be at. She need a um she need what somebody said that adult protective services. Yeah, she need that all over there because she she literally said we have her saying that she does not um get to eat properly, none of that. And she's down there abusing drugs all damn day. I'm not saying in my opinion, because that's what you're doing all damn day. Okay. It's real. Hello, my opinion. Hello. Um, she can't smoke in there. No, definitely nasty. She can't smoke in there. She don't want no structure. She don't want to heal. She don't want to do shit. She don't want to do shit, but just fucking sit there and watch everybody so she can react. I don't see nowhere in your bio where it says that. I don't, I, I don't see it. You always telling everybody to read your bio, read your bio. But baby, how are you reading your bio when you're not telling people to read it? Look, she said, a crash survivor, double amputee on my channel, you would get different things such as my journey in my condition. And she won't even be real with the people. She won't even be real with the people when they ask her shit. When they ask her about her accident, all of that now is, oh, telling the moms, oh, tell them this, tell them that. How are you running anything like that, you ghetto bitch? That's not business. That's why you have no fucking support. True. Let me see who's selling her all the um the sweet. She said that she sold some to her brother the other night. She said, I sold some to my brother. And she had like the big jar. That's what she do with her money. She had the big ass jar that she pulled out of that bag. And that's why she's able to just smoke that shit all damn day. Because she said she sold some to her um, brother. And she down there rolling up with the um, with the little sister. Okay? And instead, like I said, that money could have went to freaking comforters and all of that. Y'all bum ass freaking bitches that's laying up under her over there. Y'all, y'all do that. Y'all talking about these shoes and shoes every minute. Oh, next shoes. No, bitch. Get some blankets up in there. Get get some good stuff for them kids. Some books and a bookshelf and all of that. Yeah, get get some shit. Get somebody to come in there and fix the ceiling. Get like get a microwave. You understand me? You say you don't pay no goddamn bills and all you doing is using that money for that shit. You can't even get nothing professionally done down there. You don't even have your, like I say, your therapeutic pillows, bitch. You, you don't even have a freaking, you know, one of them drainers that you lay your head in so you can get your hair washed by the aid. A shower chair. Nothing. Girl, you're, you're, you're bumming out here. You're losing. You're losing. You shouldn't even come on here talking about what you selling down there. Nasty. Nasty. That's why we're here to talk about the shit because of the nasty, disgusting things that come out your mouth. You're a fucking train wreck over there. Nobody gives a fuck about you in that chat because they wouldn't allow you to go out bad the way how you going out. Don't you realize that? Don't you realize that? Right. They'll even provide transportation back and forth, even to like her, um, you know, to go shop and do anything. She needs to be admitted to a mental hospital because um, she's in danger to herself and others. Absolutely. Absolutely. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. It, it needs to end. It needs to fucking end. Weak, Sunny. Ain't nothing solid about Sunny. Yeah. She's selling poop. <laughs> At this point dress up but she needs to go and brandish uh her own poop bags and you know and freaking like put design on them and that, wh wh whatever get get something printed and shit shit in style call it shit in style you know do something let me see she lied and said she doesn't have um health care right uh we have to pay, um, pray for her <laughs> i pray for them babies 
I pray them babies get into somebody's arms that's going to like, you know, help them through the day to, you know, um, basically like it, it has to be like a whole turnaround. Like those kids are traumatized. She manipulate the fuck out of them. Sonny, I said it. You are a mammy of the fucking century. Okay. I, I've come across a few. But baby, the way you laid it out, calling them bastards and calling them all types of names and telling them they ain't, she ain't getting them shit, fuck that. And it, I mean, I, I'm I, I, for you to have them listening to that and saying it and then the next breath crying in their face and screaming and talking about how much you love them and all that, like, you need to fucking get help. I, I mean, like, how could anybody say they support you and not tell you the real? everybody in that chat you would have had to block everybody in that fucking chat for them telling you the fucking real yeah i dare you to accept that I, that's what i do i dare you to fucking accept don't dare nobody over here to fucking go sit in no goddamn wheelchair okay they're scared scared of what like just move on there is so much people on here that's doing great content mothers single mothers that can really use the support and you know and instead these people are like under somebody that don't even accept the support she does not because she's too busy being proud until she get in her mood and say yeah you know um she does this whole dry begging thing oh i can't eat because you know i don't want to ask nobody up there this is why i don't ask them to do nothing this is why and that's dry begging bitch that's dry begging okay give them real fucking content um they don't even want to help her they know how um how to take care of her right because she ain't take good care of them right she don't know how to take care of her right absolutely absolutely those subs are stagnant yes her time is up marcus set her up with a good a, a great opportunity to be a successful youtuber and she dropped the ball her reputation is tainted yes because these videos are all over the place. All over the place. People are seeing what you're doing to your children. How you how you just act on a daily basis. And without getting help. And you know, you're a bold bitch. Like, because you're just getting high all day in Georgia. In Georgia, girl, all freaking day. With kids down there. I know they should be smelling like fucking smoke the way how you do. All day, every goddamn day. And then talk about you got to lay down and smoke. Where them kids be at, y'all? Where them kids be at? She just be smoking all fucking day. That shit crazy. Thank you, Betty. Um, make sure you guys are hitting the like button. Let me see. Hey, Sunny with the stank stank. Uh, her new name. Stank stank. <laughs> Call a week weak only weak bitches come on here and do that do that wild ass shit you ain't no hustler like danny said you you girl you could have got to the bag <laughs> you could have got to the bag bag and choose to sit there because you're not a hustler you're not a hustler hustlers don't do things like that okay You'd have been on here doing your thing. Everybody would have known. Who, and the thing is, people were drawn to her. Everybody was like, Dag, you know, that's fucked up. Let's go over there and support. And this is what the fuck she did. Like, like Danny said, you dropped the ball, bitch. You dropped the ball, bitch. And now you're sitting there hoping and waiting for a viral moment. You're stuck. You're stuck. Get out that rut. For real. Uh, let me see. People are also setting how much she doesn't tell the truth too. Right. She lied and said her sister was walking up on her and came up right in her face. Right. And that's why I made sure I freaking said that shit out here because it needs to be fucking known. All right. And those videos are going to come out here so she can hide them, do whatever. They're going to be right there. Okay. In your face. Monday morning. Going to be right there Sunday night if they're not out already. Girl, you literally lied right afterwards. And I was like, does she not remember the things that she say? Is it like a, she has some shit going on in her brain? Is there something missing? Because, girl, you rolled up on it. You're talking about, I'm in a chair. You see how she played that role? Just like when she called the cops and she was acting tough, doing all that. And then when the cops came, she was like, you know, I can't do nothing with my arm. That's what you told the cops. 
You was like, I can't beat my kids. The way how you hit that daughter, you beat them kids. You beat them kids. The way how you hit your sister me over there, you hit them kids. You sure do. Talking about, I got one arm. Y'all remember her saying that? I got one arm. I can't, I can't fight or hit them with that one arm. If I hit them with that one arm, I'm a tip over. That's what she said. That's what she said. I have it on my life. Okay. She said, I am going to tip over if I hit them. But she over there swinging, swinging and hit the sister with the same arm that she said she's going to tip over with. Make that shit make sense. Okay. Zeltania said, Chase, you just have her, um, you just gave her the game and design your own poop bag. Right. Exactly. Poop bag with a design on it. All types of stuff on there. She don't know how to market shit. She just likes to live in her head and say she's going to do shit. But it, it never happens like that. Okay. Um, she didn't meet her match because Lord knows the way I would have spin the wheelchair made her ass dizzy as hell. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> right. Right in there. Swinging on her like that. And hit her. Okay. But look at how she lied to the police. Lied. Girl. And that's all you've been doing this whole time. I hope I'm not the only one that noticed that because now I got to go grab that clip and grab the other clip from last night. Yeah, because we see how you lie and they just sit there and just keep on going with it. She lied right in your face. You already know. That's what I'm saying. I would have tipped her the fuck over. She would have been, when I mean, I wish she would have caught the box of her life because why? He was playing herself. She was playing herself. Ashley says she should have, um, she shouldn't even be having sex if she can't take a proper bath. That's crazy, right? Right. She should have been had somebody that's, you know, able to put her in a tub and do all of that. I said, so don't want to do all that shit. She don't want to do that. Nobody want to do that. That's why you got to bring people in so you won't be stressing people out. And you won't be down there freaking uh, stressing, talking about nobody not doing nothing for you and then take it out on the kids because they ain't bringing you the right thing because they ain't moving fast enough. Like, girl, fucking weird. Let me see. Ashley, anybody lay with their, uh, her is nasty, right? I believe so, too. Her time's up with that. Her time's up right now. Like, she really needs to sit there and, like, say, you know what? I have definitely, you know put my vagina out here enough let me sit down with my kids okay let me sit down with my kids tomorrow i'm gonna do a reaction of your facebook video okay so it's going to be playing over here and we are going to be doing a reaction on it okay prepare you yeah we're gonna be using um that because i want to i want to go through the whole video and show how much of a angry i angry disgusting person she is okay how much and, and it has nothing to do with the legs being gone it's just gotten worse okay because when i tell you she was ripping out that child here when i mean you know the text messages up there was absolutely freaking disgusting because I, i'm like girl focus on your kids you wasn't even focused on them you ain't you wasn't focused on her and you pray for i feel like you pray for the other one the oldest one noel you know the way you scream and said i prayed for you i prayed for you that's because you wanted to keep that nigga a nigga that didn't want to be kept yeah um let me see why um why she sit on live snoring like <laughs> you heard her snoring girl i'll be out i'll be out like them shits be so stretched out longed out like girl i'm like what so it's just a shitting and poop bagging and shit all goddamn night. People be telling her in the morning and stuff when I click on it, like I read the comments and like, oh, you, you was farting online. You was farting. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me see, Ashley, anybody lay? Yeah, of course. But nope, I think they're all barking. No bite. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like somebody on here just said earlier, she hit her sister to show people that she can fight in her chair. Shake my head. Right. <laughs> That's your sister. She's, you know, slow. She's slow. So, I mean, come on. Uh, let me see why she's okay. Let me see. What is her Facebook? Um, what's the name of it again, guys? 
but if you type in if you type in solid sunny it's going to come up in there i don't remember the 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 actual full name but i already have it in my index box and that device is that so um let me see she's gonna regret the day she mentioned you yes we're gonna keep on that's what i'm saying like i'm not going back and forth with you girl i'm coming here and talk about all your disgusting behavior like that's it that's it drag your ass let you know everything you fucking doing she always say she broke but she said um she gets two checks right right what what two checks the welfare check and the um in the in the disability check or is she talking about the youtube check that's what she's talking about let me see michelle said no self-respect absolutely none i mean she showed her poom poom on here with a catheter in it she felt and groped herself in the chair sitting outside while her kids were like back and forth okay and then after that um told everybody that her kids want to sleep with her so she's getting ready to go to bed like that's uncomfortable bitch okay that's uncomfortable that's disgusting and i just don't think that you're um you know uh, um in your right mind to take care of them kids i really don't that was fucking gross and before that, you was just there screaming in their face with your eyes all fucking wild, fucked up. Like, come on now. Mm -mm. Um, she gonna hit the wrong one, and she gonna um get clothesline. WD WWE style. I just think she just tried her sister Jerome. That's it. I don't think she would have even tried anybody like that. She wouldn't. Have, she can't. She wouldn't even look at me and try to even try me like that. Okay, it wouldn't have happened. She's not going to try no fucking body. Let me see you go outside and try somebody like that. It's not going to happen. She just do that because she know her sister's mentality and she know how far her sister's going to go. Okay. And she know probably if she put her hand on her, she's going to have to get out the house. Okay. Because it seemed like it's, you know, some kind of weird favoritism shit going on there. But I believe it's because, um, Sonny is actually putting a little bit of money inside the house. That's why, you know, what she say goes more than the other sister. Right. I, I think so. Cause if the sister was bringing in a bag, I just don't believe that they would just, you know, um, say, you know what, fuck you, whatever like that. But she's treated because she's not, um, bringing in a bag. So she's treated a certain way. Okay that's it um yep she's nasty she is um let me see she is dorm to the streets right absolutely she's streets so look inside the home it looked like on a corner somewhere in baltimore like come on now karen said her youtube um check comes around on um, the 22nd right it does it does let me see and and look it, uh, she's gonna have no choice sunny we're gonna see you get up nice and early <laughs> you gonna get up nice and early for that one you won't even get up for your own kids and put anything together, girl. But when that check comes, she gets the fuck up, start rolling, start doing all that shit. Okay. Um, she was low-key nervous. Um, the sister called the cops. <laughs> I never saw no cops came. Uh, no cops. No, no cops. I didn't see any cops. She went to bed and the sister got quiet and shit just, you know, but I ain't see no cops. Indigo said um, she probably gets a check for the kids and welfare and SSI. Right. That's what I'm thinking, too, because I'm like, what to check? She prob is probably coming through now. She probably applied and probably going to go get some actual cash or something now. Let me see. Karen said in that she has the kids. OK. Zeltani said I can work a double at work and she still be live sitting there looking stupid. Right. Right absolutely marcus says she docks herself shake my fucking head yeah she docks herself over and over again i remember i was watching that situation i'm like girl you put your own shit out here and then she started going after everybody huh what um when does she take a bath um she's on live all day she turned the camera up or like the two times i told you I, I saw it she turned the camera up or whatever and you just hear the water running she show herself like brushing her teeth but i mean the water only run for a couple of minutes okay that camera needs to go off she needs to have them people you know come in there like i said an aid bitch you need a home attendant you need a home attendant that's what you need if you was really a boss before let me tell you I know females with one hand. I know females in wheelchair and they are bossed up looking, looking good, 
taking care of their family and have their aids, have everything going on, their ride, all that, okay? But because she's not a boss and she's okay with sitting in shit, that's how she's going to fucking remain, all right? Danny said, I'm still trying to figure out how she washes her right arm and underarm right and that's the one that's supposed to like be stinking the most and all of that right yeah she don't she don't get under there she don't get under there she don't and 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 even to eat like you never hear her washing her hand when she, before she eat but always down the baby's neck oh your hands you you touching everything bitch you touching everything too you putting dirty ass um rolling paper out of your goddamn mouth in your mouth ripping it every minute like you doing everything with that one arm when did you wash your hand to eat when did you wash your hand to put your hand in your kid's face feed them their food hand them the freaking fries and shit hey you don't wash your hand you don't ever wash your hand after you smoke roll up you know you rubbing the weed and all of that stuff you don't wash your hands you don't wash your fucking hands no you don't gross you're fucking gross Donna said, and she is able to get um get to a ride, a aid when she left the hospital. Right. That would that would have been easier. Like all that stuff set up. They set you up with an agency and all that. No. Mm-mm. You definitely need a home um help. And yeah, the bitch thinks she a baddie that you no, know, you would have been a real baddie if you would have got your home attendant because you want to know why you'd have been looking way better. You would have been looking way better with your aid. You would have been freaking um on your shit. They would have been making sure they going out to get you what you need so you won't be crying for these people to run downstairs or bring you down water and all that shit at nighttime. Bitch, why you don't have water next to you before you go to bed? Why? Oh, I forgot you just there sitting there smoking and screaming at the fucking screen so you don't have no time to say, you know what? Let me make sure that the water is next to me. Let me make sure I have everything next to me so I won't have to bother my father in the middle of the goddamn night. Okay, you're a selfish bitch. <laughs> That's it. Jerome says she only washes um her two fingers. Or she used to wipe with. Oh, Jerome, that's absolutely disgusting. Yolanda said, "Do you mean whole bath?" Yes, that's the whole bath. <laughs> that's the whole bath we talking about. Okay, and she don't wash her hands when she change um that shit bag either, darling. And the thing is, you hear her like playing with it, touching it, doing all that stuff. And what she do? What she do? What does she do? She don't do. Sh- oh, oh my gosh! And go right to eating. Go right to eating. Okay. <laughs> Sunny, you can't talk to me. You can't talk to nobody over here. Okay. You can't. You you eat shit. <laughs> You eat shit literally, okay? Have your hands all around them kids and everything back and forth with food and doing... Girl, that's nasty. That is nasty, y'all. Oh, my God. She had that dead arm wrapped around her neck laying in the bed. Yes, you saw that shit? Yo, I think I said... (laughs) I said, look, that arm's supposed to have its own damn pillow. Okay, it's supposed to have his own damn pillow laying there, living like living like a boss, doing boss stuff. Shit, you a bum over there. You a whole bum in that basement. You talking about oh we got a big house, oh we that that that. You no, you a bum down there. You living like a bum. Yeah, I know you don't like to hear it, but yeah. And then you keep saying I was a boss. I was a boss. You was not. Stop lying to yourself. Okay, a boss would have did what she had to do instead of, you know, chasing somebody to your goddamn path. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, let me see. I couldn't believe my eyes. She really needs mental help. She had a traumatic accident. She's mentally ill. Right. She's not accepting it, but she needs help. Right. And I'm sure she have seen it. I'm sure she knows it. You know, she knows it. But she still have to come here, like, you know, when she put that wig on and, like I said, the lip gloss and the headphones and, you know, you can't tell her nothing. 
But once again, let me repeat myself. Let me be repetitive for you because you you don't have a good understanding. You don't you don't know how to interpret when someone is saying something to you. I'm not here to give you advice. I told you what the fuck to do. And that's it. I told you what to do. I'm not here to freaking preach you like you're a little sister. I'm not here for none of that shit. I see you're disgusting. So yeah, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna talk about it. And I know you're gonna come and listen, right? So you're gonna be able to pull things from what I'm saying. All right. Just like how you pulled a couple things that, you know, from what I was saying and you you made sure you did it, but you're 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 mad because other people are saying, like, yeah, she took your advice. Yeah, I wanna correct you guys. It wasn't an advice. I told her what the fuck to do and she did it. Mm-hmm. Hey, foreign blood, not foreign lies. How you doing? Love? Make sure you guys are subscribed over there. Great content. How you darling said she needs to Google um, some exercises for that arm until she goes to therapy. And she don't. That would have been something great that she does on the TV. Instead, she wants to lay there, watch Tubi movies or, or, or you know, or, um, Netflix movies and just lay there. Lay on that fucking arm all day, every day. Okay. How is that helping them babies? Everything that I've said about you, it leads up to how is that helping your kids? How is that putting you further ahead? You know, to say, you know what? It's time for me to make sure that I'm healthy. I got to keep this arm strong. I got to do something about this one. I got to make sure I'm healing right. I got to get some food in my system so I can sit up. I got to get to a doctor so they can help me with this depression that I got going on. I, I need them to send me to a psychiatrist so that I can, you know, be able to deal with the fact that I am a double amputee. I have to get to these people because I need these people to tell me and help Help me, you know, so that I can make sure that I can be better for my kids. You see that circle right there? Everything you do, it turns around to your children. Okay? Everything you're doing. So you are traumatizing them. Whether you want to believe it or not, Carmen Lee, you stinky bitch. You know, all of you little suckers over there. That's childhood trauma that she's doing. A drunk ass mammy uh, or whatever, pill popper. You understand me? A freaking dusty weed head. You're not even smoking ganja the right way, bitch. You're abusing it. You're not supposed to abuse ganja the way how you doing it. You're doing it every damn day. Every day. Abusing the shit. Everything goes around in a circle to your kids. So whatever you're doing, it comes right back around. And all I see is trauma, 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 and more trauma. A whole generational curse is on your shit. Because you, you didn't say, I am the bitch. I am the bitch that's going to change all of this. I seen the way how I came out. My sister's in foster home. We back and forth. I got to get adopted here. All types of shit going on. And you sit there and say, you know what? I am going to mentally and physically abuse my kids because um, that's how I feel that, um, you know, they should be raised after you done went through all this fucking trauma. You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. You're a nasty person. You're a bully. You're disgusting. That's my favorite word over here. Disgusting. Yeah, you are. No, them sheets don't change. And neither does the kids. They just be folded there. That could have been content too. How are you doing that? Okay. You need an aid. They come and make sure your bed is good. They make sure everything is over there is good so you can level up. So you can have your strength. You're so weak. You're weak all around from head to... Oh. I can't say so. Sorry. From head to nub. Okay. You're weak. You're weak. Get up. Get on them nubs like I told you. Get up. Girl. She need an overall help and um, a drug rehab. Yeah. She needs all of that. She needs all of that. And she won't, and she won't, you know, have herself in a situation where she can, you know, say, you know what? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do this. This is great content. That bitch, that would be great content for you. If you don't want to listen to me so you can get this bag, then that's your problem. Okay. But that's not going to stop me from talking about your disgusting behaviors when you come out here. Just know that. Just know that. 
Okay, there's a bunch of people going in and out of your lives and, you know, and they'll comment and let me know what's going on because they know I have a busy life, but I, I will make time. You are my content. Okay, we, we can we can do this. You're my content. And I told you, you're not my content. Just freaking listen to what I said because I told you what to do. Keep them kids off of here and stop trauma fucking ties them. Okay? I told you that. And you still went ahead and was fucked up, was nasty. I don't give a fuck how much times you want to threaten me and do all that stuff. Bitch, I've been threatened all over the internet. Having Chase been threatened everywhere. Having uh, all of that and, and what I do. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going because nobody controls my commentary. Okay. I talk about what I want to talk about. My content is my content. And if I say you're my content, you're my content. Okay. I've seen literally, I've sat back and I watch a couple channels, how they respond to you. And I know those channels because she shout them out by, you know, calling, calling their names, talking shit about them and everything like that. That's how I, I know most of the channels. Okay. And I told you guys that. And I'm seeing how she's dirty, and I'm like, oh, let me go see what they're saying because you know I, I could be nasty at the mount. You know, I make I make a few people unravel. So I'm like, oh, let me go see what kind of drag they got going on. I go there. These women are like, you know, I want the best for Sunny, you know, and I can't believe you're saying that. You know, they're they're, they're like laying shit out, talking to her making videos showing her what she got going on letting the youtube streets know that we have this going on over there that's what we do we highlight things look up reaction channels look up bloggers look it up okay learn about the streets before you start rolling them i thought i thought you was gangster girl i thought you was hood you know you gotta roll the streets and that's what i did i rolled the streets got to see that these women are are freaking babying you i'm like this bitch don't need is this what she going off and threatening people for i said oh heck no <laughs> you gotta get to know me okay let me see you can't make them drink or wash their ass right absolutely absolutely hey kitty kitty in the building hey love let me see Zeltani said I hope she got a pen and paper writing this shit down because I know she listening Af absolutely absolutely my girl uh Luana said tough love yes Warren Blood said she chooses to stay in the in a dark place yes it's a choice it's at this point it is a choice hi Stacy come on through she needs to focus on different things I promise you she's worried about yelling at everyone instead of getting herself together right Right, and we still seeing you in the same position the next day, okay? Karen said, I've worked with the physically disabled. I don't think working um, working that bad arm, there is no coming back for it. She hasn't um, done any PT, right? It's been too long. And if, you, and if you're in like going through steps to do that, it should have been started a long time ago. It's been started a long time ago. That girl just weakened out her body even more. Did you see how her collarbone is sticking out? Sonny, go look in the mirror. Have somebody put a mirror, not a phone, a fucking mirror, okay? Not a phone. Don't look in a phone screen at yourself or nothing. Tell them to put an actual mirror in front of you and look at your face and look at the collarbones and look at everything on you. Bitch, go, go, that money that you're using for weed, go get some insure. I'm sure you could use the food stamps to go get some insure. Go do something, all right? You look bad out here and want to talk shit to people. No, girl. Let me see, Zeltanya. Let me see. I read you both. Go down. Lakeisha said, um, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. Yes, that's a good one. I love it. Um, yes, um, like why she called out my little channel laugh a lot. I'm just replaying what she says. Right. That's what I told actually told her yesterday. Day before yesterday. That's what I told her. I'm like, how is she lying on you when she said that i was like so she's over there spinning that whole narrative nobody's lying on you the videos that i watched danny i went over there and I, I went through your videos and i'm like okay all the videos that have her title or whatever i see the thumbnails <laughs> and i was like let me click on it let me listen and i'm watching and i'm like it's you basically talking and she's replying back to you that's reacting <laughs> That's reacting. That's what it's about. 
So I'm like, okay, and I go back to her shit and she's there popping that shit, you know, because I heard her calling you out a long time, Deets. And, and I'm like, Deet, who the hell is Deet? You know? And then I'm like, oh shit, it's Danny with the Deets. I'm like, oh shit, Danny's doing commentary on her. <laughs> she was like, I see you, bitch. You ain't, they love to make videos. That's what they doing. Like, <laughs> Yes, that's what we do. You got this shocking ass, disgusting train wreck. Just turn the doorknob, Sunny, and you know, and we like. And you expect reactors not to talk about it, girl. You are content. You're not just content for me. You're content for a lot of people because this is something to talk about. Yes, you know how you like to say, "I'm the shit. I'm the shit." I'm yeah. You are. You're content. Okay. Um, boss said, boss lady said, don't have exclusive content for members only in zoo. Donna said she had, um, West Indian parents. Sunny would be right. Right. Cause they still hit no matter how to get. Come here, pick me. Oh, oh, what set? <laughs> oh my gosh. Tasha said they are very respectful to her trying to help her. Yes. Hey, Octavius in the building was good. Make sure you guys are subscribed over there too. Taz said she's coming in number one in the blunt roll in Handicap Olympics. She can do way more without help, right? Yo, Taz was so amazed by it. She was just like, wait, she can roll a blunt? <laughs> what? <laughs> do a Guinness Book of Records. Like, you know, she's not she's not milking the the, the um the internet game because you know you're you're just reacting, bitch. You're just reacting and nobody's over there supporting that shit, okay? You need support. Uh, the kind of content that you were trying to come with it, you actually do need support to grow when you're doing that instead of cursing everybody out. Like you literally curse everybody out because they're telling you the truth. All them people that's sitting there right now, they're defending the bullshit. Last night, you were wrong. You were dead ass wrong because I thought the girl did something to you until I actually watched the video. The way you were speaking, when I went over there, it was like, you know, she, she walking up on me and I'm like, no way she could be lying because these people are in the comment and nobody's saying, I think it was just like one person, you know, saying like, oh, keep your hands to yourself. I don't remember the name and stuff, so don't ask me. But yeah, they were like, keep your hands to yourself and all that. And I'm like, so what did he see? So rewind, huh? Sure enough, you were the aggressor. You were the aggressor. You were once again the bully because you know that girl is not going to knock you to the floor you know she's not going to do that and once again you can't step to nobody on the street because even when you go on the street you a whole nother bitch you a whole nother bitch from when you be in that room you be so tough in that fucking dungeon you be so tough in that dungeon but best to believe when you go out on the street you see this little timid thing just sitting there in the fucking corner yes you don't have the same effect that you do in that room and when you go outside girl so you're not stepping to nobody nobody's pulling up to you and you gonna freaking do nothing come to that realization girl everything is hurting you right now everything mentally and physically because you're doing it to yourself nobody's doing it to you okay like they told you over there you really don't have to watch none of this you really don't you really, really don't. You can clean up your fucking act. You can make people, you know, not make people, but you can, people will actually see it and say, you know what? Nobody's saying, oh, go support her. Go do this. Nobody's saying it because you're just a nasty person. Who wants to send their supporters over there to support somebody that's just going to be turned around and just be disgusting to them? No one, no one is going to send their people to you. You can't grow your own people because like I said, they're all just sitting there because they they love, they want to watch the train wreck. That's it. That's it. Nothing more. Let me see. Melinda said, okay, I caught a live. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. We've been on over an hour. Damn. I can't believe I gave y'all. Let me see. Forrest said, I'm going to call you Granny. Granny said, I cannot argue with um, a disabled person. It just don't sit right with me. <laughs> We do reads. Yes, Granny. Let me see. I actually feel bad for the girl. It's hard to because of her actions. You are very nice. But I still feel bad. She wants me to come um, to her live to argue with her. I, can't, I keep trying to tell her that's below my savage play grade. Right. 
right and what you do you come out and you talk about the behavior it's the behavior that's it nobody is arguing with you nobody's fighting with you talking about your behavior that's a that's the read baby danny said right i was like um is she sending the shit bags to my house <laughs> you get a shit bag you get a shit bag we all get a shit bag. <laughs> yeah oh my gosh mystery known how you doing she said i'm here for you chase um you're my little sister in my head hey mystery sophia said west indies um parents don't play with her kids for real for real yeah she really don't i got to get into some of the content belinda said okay i caught a live hey belinda make sure you guys are hitting a like button bush watchers uh mocha is in the bill mocha you late i'm surprised I'm surprised. Let me see. Foreign um, blood said, I agree, but I just wouldn't even feel right. She's not even an equal component. She sure is. She's throwing them blows. She's, you know, like, pull up, bitch. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ashley says she got to be a demon seed because nothing can humble her down. Oh, she is. Uh, she definitely is. She come off and it, it's burning, it's burning a hole in her body, okay? She's not liking it at all. She's very upset about it. Instead of changing her ways and doing things a different way, you know, like, you know, let me get my actual content together. Let me, let me stop coming on here and, you know, screwing these disgusting behavior with my kids and groping, explicit nudity, you know, all of that. It just it's just out the window she's like okay no i'd rather go back and forth uh let me see donna said at granny i suffer from depression i work in a case um worker traumatic situation like um let me see life changing if you got a mouth trying to fight people no excuse for her she doing it to herself absolutely absolutely hey podcast how you doing i hope all is well with you uh let me see uh miss granny let me see, Miss Granny. I love you and your channel. I did subscribe a few weeks ago. Oh, you got some subscribers over there. Y'all. Let me see. Ella said, Yes, yeah, she was wrong. Dead ass wrong for doing that. Dead ass wrong. Um, podcast said those kids are scared of her. Yes. She manipulates them, you know. I'm I'm all you have. Your daddy don't want you. She tells them that. They don't want you. He don't want you. He don't want to be he don't want to do nothing. Like, who talks to a little baby like that? you're wild let me see belinda said i was subscribed to her in the beginning but after the um the kma messages i unsubscribed like last year oh wow oh wow that last year let me see who's gonna pull up on somebody in a wheelchair <laughs> right right i'm like girl i'm here talking Nobody's pulling up nowhere like you let me tell you when she come out the house it's a whole different person you don't see her whole demeanor change everything like that she's 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 rocking tough in that in that dungeon yeah she, that's where that's where it's at watching that live i was hoping the special sister snatch her ass up and didn't but she knows that she knows her sister wasn't going to do that mocha that's why she did it so you know you think she could swing on somebody outside people like hey you you in a chair but you swing on me i'm swinging back on you too you can't try people like that. Not everybody's going to feel sorry for her everywhere she go. And that's what I'm trying to tell because I don't have it in for you like that. You don't feel sorry for your kids. Why should anybody feel sorry for you or have, or excuse me, empathy for you? You don't even have that for yours. Okay. The ones that came out of you, like, bitch, you're trash to me. You're nothing to me. Get your shit together. And maybe like people will want to support you more. Yeah. Um, Donna said exactly it's the behavior and the piss poor mammy qualities, right? That's that's what it is for me. And the bragging of, you know, selling vagina and doing all of that stuff, but you're still in the situation where you're at. How were you bossing before? You would have had everything laid out <laughs> from then, so you wouldn't have to be in that situation. You would have had everything laid out, you know, where people would have had to come to you, baby. But you don't. You're not bossing, okay? So stop calling yourself a boss. Um, let me see. She's gonna do. Um, she's gonna do over the speed limit if somebody does. <laughs> Whole different person. Um, girl, it's my birthday. I've been on the move all weekend. Oh my god! Happy birthday, Mocha! Everybody wish Mocha a happy birthday. Have fun, girl. 
Pisces, my daughter's next week, and we're gonna be having a blast, okay? Juanita, Miss Juanita, how you doing, boo? She says she is teaching the wrong things to her daughters. Absolutely. She already she already traumatized them, Juanita. She is she's already tra- they traumatized from that. Okay. Any I mean to have them say, you know what, go curse people out, go do that, go defend me. Like what? Tell them the damn cam tell them to look in the camera and say that stuff. Like, girl, you're weird. You're weird. Go grow some friends. Go to the, you know, a daycare for adults. You know, they have the adult daycare. She need one of those. She need one of those. Because they are not your ghetto ass friends that you miss so much. Like, they're, they're not. Dude. Yes. Happy birthday, huh? Um, let me see. Granny said she could be such a power player when she don't even realize it. And that's, and that's all I've been saying. Yeah. That's all I've been saying. Like, girl, you could have been loving up well out here. She had a platform laid out for her and did nothing with it. Did absolutely nothing with it. Dropped the ball, <laughs> fumbled the bag. <laughs> you sure did. You was laying back like you was about to get it popping. While you was getting them subs up, because you didn't even have to just sit there and cuss and do all that stuff all day because... What you're going to get, you're not going to gain any kind of support doing that. Okay. Um, He didn't actually lay it out for you and tell you, you know, what exactly you were supposed to do when you gained those subs. Mm -mm -mm. He didn't because you would have definitely been doing it. Okay. Yes. Happy birthday to my girl. Like, mm -mm. Pisces. Um, Petty said, Chase, did you see her hit her sister last night? Yes, you must have just came back, girl. We talking about it. I would have knocked her ass over. But like I said, she did that because she know the sister wasn't going to do shit. Okay? She know that's her risking a place to stay. All right? Uh, because she kept emphasizing, I'm the reason why she's here. I'm the reason why. You know? So she's, she's letting her know. <laughs> She's letting her know that, listen, without me, you would be out there on the street. And she know that girl wasn't going to hit her. She know that. Um, Peter says she needs to come to Brooklyn with all that mouth. Yeah, we, and, and girl, we have we have um uh, um uh people in wheelchairs all over the place. <laughs> like, they be chilling, doing they, you know, they got their mouths and doing all that. She, she could never come here with that because she a quiet bitch outside. She quiet, Peaches. Then he said, is the live still up from last night? Someone said that it's inside, um, it's in members only. It's in her members only. Let me see. Belinda said she's going to make it um, so her kids are going to want to leave home and not look back. They're going to be looking for love in all, all the wrong places. All the wrong places. And I'm like, all the bullshit that she's been through, she, be, she should be like having them girls living princess life. A princess life. Having everything laid out for them not screaming and hollering in their faces and and having them sleep in dirty clothes and talking about who's pajamas i'm sure they would want uh, um you know one of their favorite characters freaking um you know pajamas with their slippers and their house slippers and their um mattress is, is nice and neat and fluffy and pretty blankets and shit like that you ain't thinking about that you ain't thinking about that. Come on now. You think I would want my kids to be in a fucking dungeon inside that room with nothing cleaned up, nothing on the wall? It just look like a fucking prison? <laughs> look like a prison. Okay? Let me see. Since there said maybe one day she will realize that all people are doing is trying to help. Um, is trying to help. Nobody's bullying her. Right. Absolutely. We see a young woman who decides to sit on here, right? And smoke all day, not tending to her children, out here very vulgar. We have seen her in sexual behavior while her children are being born. Now, and like one of my concerns is that she's sitting there and she's smoking over and over again. And it's a little area down there where the kids are. Okay, it's out in the open. Like, if you're smoking like five blunts within the three hours, like where those children, what, what what's up with that? Okay, 
Um, foreign blood said that's a New York Jersey accent. Short is <laughs> New York. <laughs> New York, Sophia said straight. <laughs> Belinda said early in the morning they have to um hear that BS. Yes, and that's that's a damaging. The little girl is already saying that she's getting bullied at school, right? And then to come home and get bullied by this woman. And then before she goes to school, she's screaming and hollering in her face. Like, I mean, how much can she take? How much can a little girl take? Sonny, you evil. Fuck that. You're evil, bitch. Anybody that freaking harm children and treat children like that is fucking evil. Evil lives there. Okay, that's one of my favorite shows on, on, on IP, okay? He is evil, demonic, disgusting. Scream at them for little stuff, no patience at all, but you sit there and have patience for a Negro, okay? You have patience for a Negro, you have patience to just sit there and just not do nothing. You can do the same thing for them, okay? You have some patience for them, bitch, and I'm telling you what the fuck to do. Um, Belinda said kids really harm themselves for this. Right, absolutely. She can um, tough love her children, but cannot take the same tough love. Right, exactly. Tell her that same thing. I'm like, yo, it's the same way you talk to them kids. That's how That's how you're getting it done. You said you love them. That's why you do it. They're too young for that shit. I don't feel at any age right now. And the kids, that, the kids that's growing up now is different. Those are babies. Okay. Let them be babies. You out here telling them to cuss and, uh, and we outside tonight and all this or dropping on the floor and doing all this extra shit. And then you turn around and friggin' dog them out because you're teaching them that shit. You are outside lifting up your coat, showing your nipples, doing all types of mess, right? But then when you caught them doing something, you started freaking going crazy. And talk about where you learned that weird shit from off of a bus no from you from you bitch they learned it from you they learned it from you freaking sitting there and doing all this disgusting shit talking about a man laying you down in the most disgusting way talking about yeah i need some dick from papa and they're right there from papa smurf and they are right there listening to it and then you bark on them and tell them to go find something to do because they in the room girl you're disgusting i think you're evil and i think i know you evil because i saw all of that already look at you hey seven how you doing hun linda said kids really harm yes i read that yes they do sincere said that's why she's in the basement no one wants to be around her yep i said that too i agree completely i agree with the um with the um, sister last night, I agree with all of that that she was saying. Nobody wants to be around you. They done spoke on it already. They're tired. Go get the aid that you need. Okay? You need that shit. You need somebody down there fucking them goddamn pillows for your ass. Laying flat, looking crazy. That's why you be in pain all goddamn day. You in pain all day trying to freaking escape that shit. Talk about... Oh, taking advice. No, bitch, I told you what the fuck to do and you did it. Don't play with me. Okay? Mm-hmm. She's bipolar, definitely. Um, and talking about PTSD, like she's proud of it. Right. Right. But the thing is, she's not getting the help of it. All she's doing is screwing that on her baby. That's it. And that's a big concern over there, Sunny. That's a big concern with them babies in there and you are traumatizing them with this shit. When I saw you was intoxicated the way you are, and I, I let me tell you, something like that happened to me, I swear to God, because even even little things like, you know, when I, when I first got drunk and I threw up, I did not want to, I'm like, okay, I got to know how to, you know, keep this together so I won't throw up, so I won't even stumble or anything like that. And I'm, and I'm definitely that. But this girl literally drink and pop and, and smoke to the point where she's screaming in them kids' faces, like screaming and hollering. 
come here, you guys, and all that. Like, that's like something from a fucking movie, Sonny. And you think nobody is going to talk about that? People don't see that in their everyday life on here. Like, okay, well, you know, um, we, we see this um, amputee mom that's, you know, dragging her kids and, and showing body parts and talking to everybody nasty and doing all, like, that's not something you see every day. Okay? So people are going to talk about it people are going to notice it okay your own people was in your chat talking about how stagnant you are how you were stuck at eight and the algorithm is not moving out for you anymore because you you wasn't you're not coming with the content anymore somebody over there called it what a, a graveyard because you're not doing the content that you're supposed to be doing um, Holistic said, not normal at all. It's not. Mocha said, that daddy's sick of her too. Yup, I told her that too earlier. He's sick of you. Go get the help you need. Nobody owes you shit. And I know it fucks with you when you hear that. Nobody owes you nothing. So stop getting mad at these people. People get paid for doing what you're doing. Um, what you need, okay? Dallin said, to be bullied every day in school and have to come home, right? To the one person that's supposed to be your safe place. She's not the safe place at all. I, I'd be so scared for those kids. And be bullied is just um, life-altering. It is so traumatic. And he's very traumatic. Like, she's just portraying everything on those babies. Every damn day. Every day is something. She's going to speak something disgusting to them. She's going to freaking, um, you know, um, invalidate their feelings. She's not going to let them freaking talk. Nothing. Like, she don't let them be. You know, she's, as soon as they start talking, she's ready for them to shut up. No patience. Talk about what you do all day with them. Nothing. Nothing. Talk about we see. Nobody, we see nothing. It's a rotation of people and they will say it. You do these um, vlogs where you pretend for that moment for your vlog. And then you go right back to being weak ass sunny. Mm -hmm. You go right back. So how are we supposed to say, yeah, you know, the, you're doing great, Sunny, Because we know the next day you're going to be right back to the bullshit. We know you're going to be screaming and hollering at those kids online. We know you are going to be doing all of that. Like, so it's like, bleh, bleh. Okay, like someone said, it's already stained out here with you. Yeah, Podka said, I bet she cussed her dad out too, right? On the low, low, on the low, low, that's probably why she can't, you know, go in and say, Yeah, I need this or I need that or whatever. Because, like you said, she cussed them out, she nasty, very nasty. Um, she don't um respect herself, so why should anyone else respect her, right? That's Absolutely. I feel bad for those kids. Right. She was asking the oldest one why she feels. Look at her example. Oh, and she embarrasses them. Like they got to like grow up and watch that. Like how your mom treats you online. Online for a couple dollars. And not even because most of those videos, she wasn't making shit over them. She was playing music. You know, people was reporting her. She was making so many people mad that they were reporting her to the point where she had to take the videos down. And and LS, like, I, that's my point. I'm like, yo, nobody, I, I don't have a bit of empathy for you because I see how you treating those babies. Not a bit. You're a weirdo. A whole goddamn weirdo. Um, damn, Miss 007, I thought she was there earlier. Hey, boo. She said, dang, I'm late. Thank you for my 1999. Let me put a heart on it for you, boo. There you go. Thank you, honey. Mocha said the daddy is sick. Of yes. You, because I know he heard them last night. And and look, and he didn't even come down there. So that's normalcy over there. That's freaking normalcy. That's, I mean, the dysfunction in that home. Like I said, we need somebody with a sane mind to, like, really help those children. Okay? A sane mind. Um, Karen said, yes, she smokes and drinks, but she is being encouraged by her mods. Right. Sunny doesn't read the comments from her viewers um, the whole time. Her mods are making fun of her while online. Right. And they're like, oh, we're about to light up. I've seen somebody, I think it was yesterday, like, oh, yeah, we're ready to light up. 
and all that stuff because they're going through the same shit they're going um she's going through that that's depression they come there to watch her smoke while her baby's getting it neglected they are being neglected okay yeah by her um if she treated her sister better maybe her sister would help her in the shower that's crazy that is crazy i just don't think that it's her responsibility now if the aide wasn't able to do it if she had an aid you know and she was like hey sis you know can you help me get me in the tub and stuff like that they should be a stand-in but the family shouldn't be taking care of her all day every day you get what i'm saying i just believe that because i don't feel like they are they're mentally capable of taking care of her really properly you know um, Holistic said they probably shadow banned her from YouTube. Absolutely, I agree. I agree. She don't have to get on her A game. Belinda says she smokes and drinks in front of them. Right. She's not a mom. No disrespect, but good mom doesn't show this to our kids. Absolutely. They don't have to know what you do. They don't have to see who you sleep with. They don't have to see none of that. Um, when they do it, she's going to wonder where they get it from. She should um, know already, right? Just like with the disgusting behavior that she said that she saw one of them doing and was basically attacking them online, talking shit about them. Talking about, I don't know where you get that weird behavior if it's on a school bus and stuff. And I'm like, girl, it's from you. It's from you. The mod from the UK ain't modding like he um, used to either because he has different pages all over the place and going in people chats and doing all that weird ass shit. She really thinks that these people really care about you. No, they feed off of you being depressed. Okay. They feed off of that. You don't know what's going on around you and you never will because you can focus on the wrong thing, girl. Okay. You're over there living in heartbreak, all of that having to defend a dude that freaking, you know, basically um, said, I want you to stay clear from my platform. Yeah. Let me see what Kevin said. I'm going to have to catch the replay. Damn. Okay, boo. Yes, you do. Came in late. Belinda said, we're going to see an episode of Snap when her kids are about to um, explode. Season one, episode one, two um, girls beat their mom who's in a wheelchair bound. Right. It, it's crazy because um, you remember the twins in Georgia that your mom and beat them um, beat her mom their mom in the bathtub and all of that stuff like stuff like that happened really do ella said um she's always telling she always tells them to go find something to do oh please i get so mad when she do that i'm like those kids are babies they're babies lay it out why you can't do decent content where they can actually sit there with you if you don't have nobody do it or just don't go online okay put a video together but everything that you do should be around them surrounded around them okay i don't think that's a big deal you guys think that's much i don't think that's much at all that's uh, and, and i'm sure that you would have like way more support way more support a lot of people coming in there those are nice little girls that you're traumatizing girl nice little girls that your ass is traumatizing because you you can't satisfy with your own misery you want everybody to be in misery around you everybody and that's wild <laughs> that is wild have those kids need um those kids need real love and hugs from a mama right real hug real hug not no you know oh pat and and keep on going and only doing it when you're drunk in front of the camera or whatever and then you start it, it, it's like she switched like just like that and start cursing at them and so i'm like yo that's so fucking traumatizing they have to keep looking at your face to see if they can speak if if, so, if this is okay or am i gonna get screamed at and stuff like that they should be able to let their guard around uh you down around their mom and they can't do that with you and that's sad that is so sad and dark. Like she's in such a dark place and she's bringing the kids with her. Like, I hate that. I hate that. Go get the help that you need so those kids can do better. Okay? So they won't have to grow up and it'll be more, more sunnies, you know. I'm, I mean, come on. I'm sorry, but you know, we, we don't need no more of you out uh, here. We really don't. Okay? Um, Deidre said that girl is not wrapped to um, tight at all. Crazy. Absolutely. 
sex, um, sex foreign. Let me see, Belinda. She had the nerve to say they think we live in the um in the PHS. <laughs> we live in the suburbs. Yeah, okay. I know her neighbor is glad she is um in the basement. She acts like she's in the PJs. I mean, from from the inside, I can't even tell. I can't even tell it's a nice place or anything like that. You know, I know it's a lot of things that need to be fixed in there and cleaned up. You know, um, even with this going on, right? Like I said, she needs to get comfortable. She needs to get comfortable or she needs to work for it in the place because i mean either or it's not working for those children nothing she's doing is working towards some children okay now uh, let me see she told her mom not to block anyone without her knowing because they blocked someone who was trying to send her some money yes i heard about that one that is funny uh, let me see um what the hell are the kids sleeping on yo it's tacky it looks uncomfortable. I was just like, what the hell? And you on here talking about um, who you're giving your vagina to and everything? Girl, you got your priorities all fucked up, okay? Because, I, I I, mean, I feel bad for them, not you. Because you seem like you were lay in the corner with a fucking cardboard, okay? Shit. Hey, Wolf, are you in the building? How you doing, boo? Belinda said, looks like a rock with a mattress. Yes, something like that. Like, come on now. Something like that. It's so dingy, Belinda. It's so freaking dingy. And I'm like, she could have did something with that money. All that money them people were sending her before. You know, she sat here and the, the weed jar just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Alcohol. You know, just door dashing, not not taking care of them. That's not care. Darling, I see you love. She said, Sonny, are you still coming for Chase or are you done? <laughs> Either or. We here for it, right, darling? We are definitely here for it. Why is that? Okay, there you go. There you go. Hard for you. Thank you, boo. Belinda said, I wonder when um she bathed. She don't. She don't. The water runs and then it's a pat and dry and shit. That's that's the thing. Dreadhead girl in the building said, I wonder if um her children's father's side watch her lives, right? And that's how you know both sides ain't shit. Because there's no way in hell I'm gonna have a brother, okay, or a cousin, or you know, somebody close to me in my family actually have someone. Oh, that's related to us on the TV, showing showing on freaking um YouTube, internet, everywhere, getting shared. People making videos about it of you dragging these kids. They ain't shit neither. They are nothing because nobody is protecting them. Nobody is stepping up. The father ain't stepping up. Nobody's stepping up. Everybody's watching their shit and having them kids get get thrown by her so that just goes to show me he ain't shit neither Devonte, that's his name he ain't shit neither okay belinda said i know um he sees her right i know his people see her right absolutely absolutely they don't care they do not care they they could give two shits about what she got going on yeah they could give two shits. They don't give two, like, them girls is, is, is so unprotected. All right? Nobody's protecting them. I don't see it. What happened to the fairy girls? Theme teacups for the girls. Ain't happened. She smoked it up. Smoked it up. Everything she says she's going to do, she don't do it. Everything. Like I said, she lied to the girls and told them that she was going to do um kid content. She didn't, um, she didn't do nothing that they said. She needs to take the kids to the beauty shop and get their hair done right. I gave her that advice. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. I told that bitch to take herself there and get her hair washed. And I told her to get them kids hair washed too while she at it. That would be great content. Have somebody record you up in there. Uh, let me see. Meet me the Virgo, but she called and um, we are coming. Yes, absolutely. I don't even see what Virgo said is this week. Let me see. Um, uh, she won't even say your name anymore. Yo, she <laughs> she looking over. I don't want her attention. It doesn't matter. Come on here and be nasty and be a nasty mammy and do the disgusting shits you do like you did last night. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. That's content, girl. That's definitely content. Um, let me see. 
a podcast says she needs to take the kids um, to the beauty. Okay, I read that. Yeah, definitely. She's not going to do that. That's money. That's that's money that she could be smoking up. Um, they have no outlet besides her psycho self, right? And that's why it's a big manipulation because she tells them that your daddy doesn't want you. <laughs> Whoa. That shit I watch on TV, Dried Head Gale. That's something I watch on like movies and shit like that. And I'm seeing it right in front of my face on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Boss Lady said, LA, she better, she better know it. Exactly. Darling, Doe is coming. Uh, play, play with it. Big Doe coming. Like we, we got something to talk about. Sophia said, I thought I was the only one who noticed that she's only faking affection to the kids while on camera, right? Or while drunk, as Chase said. Absolutely. Absolutely. She's she's already being studied. Let me put you up there, Sophia. I haven't been um, putting nobody up there, but yeah. There you go right there. She's a big time faker. And then they're talking about she's a good mom. How? How? When she's just going to turn around in a couple of minutes and talk shit about them. And call them bastards. And, and, and you know, I, I, I'm all you got type shit. Like manipulation, like I said. <laughs> Um, darling said Virgo and we come with knowledge not violence absolutely we don't want to pull up on her we, ain't, we don't want to fight her but we are going to drag you about you being a mammy though we know you don't like that <laughs> emotionally we know you don't like that so maybe that's why you should you know put them on a pedestal now okay uh, let me see she pulled the mason jar of buds last night yep I, I was telling them said um how her brother comes and buy from her yep get on that too mocha the sister buys it from her yep 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 and she told um she rolled up and put the jar back in the pink plastic part. and it's like she want everybody to see it she want everybody to see it like that's the way of showing that she has money like that's weird bum bitch behavior you got two babies down there oh my gosh yeah, shout out to Will for always showing love. Um, have you seen, uh, let me see, have you seen this podcast that I think she'd be hitting the kids often because I have seen them just when um, they come close to her. Yes, they have to look at her like, you know, like make sure it's okay. But get this. I don't know if you was here earlier when I said about her, um, you know, lying to the cops and talk about, I can't hit the kids because if I hit them, I would tip over. And what she did. What she did last night. So we're going to put those videos together. And she's going to tell us, like, um, really what happened. Because we know you hit them, kids. You lied to the cops. And they say I hit them. But if I hit them, I will tip over. I'm a double amputee. It's only one of my arms work. If I hit them, I will tip over. You didn't tip over last night. You ain't tip over last night when you freaking went up, um, went to your sister's face and you lied and said that she's the one that rolled up on you. Okay. D-O-L-T is telling you that you lied. Okay. We saw you lied and those people went along with it and was beating down your sister because that was making you feel better at the same time. Okay. I think her biological family is trash. That's where she got that behavior from. Right disgusting remember after marcus visit um her other day she couldn't wake up right <laughs> she's there talking about let me get some clothes on and how sleepy she is marcus blew her back out right and then she's not even eating properly and just getting drunk and stuff so she weak that's weak sunny mm -hmm. podcast yep she putting um hands on them kids off camera yeah and before she did it already she, she did it before she did it before. Okay. Live came down everything. And then she, what she did, she lied. Hey, podcast. Another podcast in the building. Y and F. Let me see. Even when she's um just interacting with them normally. Yes, being nurturing doesn't seem to come natural to her. Right. So when she tries to be it, it's the, um, try to do it. Like it seems very forced. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what? I actually have a video. Like I said, I'm going to do commentary on it tomorrow and um, I'm going to bring it over here and we're going to see that part of her not being nurturing to the kids because that's a, that's what we're focusing more on over here. Okay. 
Oh, let me see. Yes, Wolf up in the building showing love. How you telling? Thank you, boo. She said, do better, Sonny. Love on them babies. Right. She don't like to hear that. She don't like to hear that. Thank you, darling, for my $9.99. Thank you, hon. Yes, she doesn't like to hear that. And it's not me. Um, you know, it's like she don't ever try to hide it. She don't try to hide it. She said, fuck me, kids, basically. Belinda said, I've never seen her feed the kids. When does she feed them? Because She's on YouTube 24 7. Who helps um, them with homework? Not her. Not her. She's always telling them to find something to do. So there's no structure. And like, what did you um get for homework? Sit down here and do it while I'm on live and you know, and we can talk and do this. No, they're already on a whole nother behavior. They're already if the moment she puts on those songs for them, it's like they transform, like doing all the y'all <sighs> Linda said I've never seen okay I read that I wonder if she's jealous of her own daughters because they have fun they have fun and full of life ahead of them right with legs and she's stuck in that chair for the rest of hers right right absolutely absolutely I agree I agree with that she puts a man first she put them yes because she sure did put that man first she sure did <laughs> she sure did and she still and she think like the validation of telling somebody oh yes well i have um i could get him i could do that girl how about you get in the shower you get in the shower we don't care who got you and who you got going on and all that we, we don't care we want to see you do better with them kids things that you're gonna follow up that you're gonna do that's going to lead to the kids being more comfortable. All right. That's it. That's all. Let me see. It's all about um, dick, weed, and liquor. Absolutely. Those babies are sad, are sadly an extra income for that wrench. Absolutely. She's bragging and said she wasn't um, homeless with the kids. That's because you had benefits. You had benefits and you damn sure worked and you worked that shit, girl. They saved you. Um, Sophia said her sister showing pictures of pistols on live of the day in, um, in defense of Sonny. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And sounded crazy doing that, Sophia. I, 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 I live in Georgia and forced her. She bullied her. She bullied her to come to the damn camera to do that. But you want to talk about, um, um, you know, but she don't want to listen to you as far as you teaching her something you ain't got shit to teach nobody not even a damn self um full of infection and rage absolutely um that nub over there let me tell you she she will she will sit in front of that shit all day and lay down in front of that shit all day and not do a damn thing but come out here and freaking try to go after people that's it and her kids that's it um, she could do puzzles with them, drawing, watercoloring, finger painting, painting their nails or something, maybe even play with their baby dolls, right? Simple, that's so simple. That's just a, so simple, like, for her to do. But no, instead, she'll rather freaking roll a blunt with that one hand. Roll a blunt with that one hand and sit there and freaking look at the fucking chat. That shit is crazy, man. Hey, Rogue, come through. Say dope channel. Dope channel name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boss Lady bigging you up in the building. Like, there's, I mean, there's no hope. There's absolutely no hope. That's why I won't come here and show her any kind of sympathy towards that. I know she's going to say, I don't care. But no, but you, you, you need all the care that you can get. You sure do. These women that are showing you all the empathy and giving you advice and you watching yourself, even the channels that's watching, like putting up your videos and showing you what you're doing. You could say, you know what? Look, ain't none of that going on anymore. Can you please doing that, you know, and take that down, please? I'm not going to do this or anything. Yeah, you, you need to beg. You need to beg for the kind of content that you got going on. You need to beg, period. You need to beg. You need to humble yourself, okay? Let me see. Um, Hunter Jason said, "Hey, who we talking about, gang? A mammy, uh, um, uh, African American 
black woman who's out here you know she got herself in a situation where she became a double amputee and she's taking out on family her kids yeah howdy and thank you let me get company be comfy in these pews. yes thank you very much thank you thank you thank you make sure you guys are hitting the like button as well her daughter told her that she needed to take a pregnancy test she screamed at the um slow sister because um she supposedly told that to the little girl you know the just little things what the hell are they doing talking about this shit? i ever see her said stupid how you gonna say um you really think i'm pregnant like she's talking to the child like that a five-year-old five-year-old now come on now there will be no respect for that it's bad enough that we already have you know a, um a stigma put on us already you know and and here comes here comes the bitch you know doing this wild stuff out here as soon as she's seen marcus interview a nice looking girl she puts her wig back on yes and makeup i, I talk about that too, Linda. it's the funniest shit to see because i laugh at that she was feeling um blue at the same crux she wore her braids and caps and soon as she sees a pretty girl, wig time. Yes, if that's all she have is that wig. Sunny, that's all you have is that wig. If they hide all your wig, it'll be a wrap. Okay? Let me see. Um, Chase, don't be fooled by that weird ass cloud chaser road here by Polar Flip Flopper. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on now, y'all. Don't me out now. Oh my God. What? Belinda, um, Belinda, yeah, I want to react to Belinda quick fast. Let me put you up here, boo. Belinda, where you at? Damn. Look at the ladies with the shock face right now. I want to react to Belinda's con um, content right there. Belinda, you know, right, that she went to when she went to St. Cross. That's the same braid she had in her hair. She came back and it was not washed it's been over a month now it's literally been over a month and that stuff has not done did you see how the the glue is like caked up like over and caked up all she do is lay there and pick it off did you see her edges are leaving you you saw that you saw the wig cap looks fucking disgusting like yeah you see her face her color and everything is changing because She's not um, being tidied up the way she's supposed to be tidied up. And she needs to admit and get some help. That dude hurt the fuck out of her. Okay? That dude fucked her up. All right? And she don't want to make it seem like it's bothering her. You know, she's in, but, you know, when she gets drunk, it's definitely going to come out. Or when it gets to the point. Because she wakes up crying about oh, Marcus. But she sure do. She is not where she wanted to be. She did not want to be there, yo. Wolf is off the chain. Let me see. Patty, Patty said facts at Marlene. She's making sure to mention when she washes her hands. Now in the cooking <laughs> vlog. <laughs> yes, because she's watching. She's definitely watching. People are talking about it. Like, that's gross. That is really gross. Oh, let me see, baby, them wigs. Yes, I told y'all about the lip gloss and the wigs. Okay, the lip gloss and the wigs and the headphones. <laughs> the headphones, you can't tell her she's not in the strip club. That's why she started feeling on herself like that. <laughs> she was hoping that that shit would take her back to this. She did that shit online. She like, Marcus, this shit and he gonna pull right up on my ass like yo this is the weirdest shit i've ever seen okay um belinda said i noticed that yes girl that's just a probably going to whoop her ass one of this day on live i hope i get this <laughs> right absolutely because last night she definitely let her go she definitely let her go but the thing is like i said she's not gonna do that shit. she knows if the, I feel if the sister has secured another place to live or whatever, I believe that she would have definitely um, knocked her ass over. But she knows she would have had to get out the house after that. She don't got nowhere to go. St. Cross itchy scalp is um, her only souvenir, right? He ain't buy her shit while she was in St. Cross. So she holding on to them braids. <laughs> well, hold up. 
and he wanted her to eat um a, a food that had flies all over it too like bitch <laughs> take that take that <laughs> oh yeah that shit fucking smells you wear a wig and you don't wash your hair <laughs> it's amazing. um right and that's what i said she took my oh i miss this person oh i wish this person would up for me when she was in her moment when you know when mark got the fuck on and shit, she started talking like that nobody comes to visit you nobody takes you out you were out with strangers that you met on the internet like you don't have your own people where where are your people where are your friends where your fans that you know that can get you out so you know they could come and sit with you have a good talk with you no one sits with you and why your father didn't want to um help you up that day you walk right past let me see mocha said melinda with an attitude like that she don't need friends nobody want to be around that shit. i want to see it happen because she always talking crap um she roll around on the beach um with him with her dookie bag showing <laughs> I guess that's the last time she got emerged in water. She got merged in water, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, let me see. Belinda was okay. I read that. She roll around. Okay, she holding on to them braids and the hoodie in the show. <laughs> that's so <funny>. he came from. <laughs> yeah, how sad, right? How freaking sad. Her only memory. She put it on and tie it real tight and start freaking crying and shit. Marcus, I love Marcus. I, Marcus is <laughs> She said she had to pay $800 to go on a trip. Yes, I heard that. I heard that. And you know what? When I was watching, I went back and I watched uh, the video and she and Marcus was like, oh, she got, um, she got her own money. She don't need my money. Manip- definitely manipulation and she was laying back like she was like some kind of boss or some shit like no i, I don't need your money Mm-mm. oh stupid oh stupid <laughs> melinda said that's what i noticed um he's probably tired of her acting like a child right and i mean it's not going to go anywhere he, he clearly said that you know he would never introduce anybody like you know basically her to his kids because people were concerned about that they're like oh you want to try your child your kids your daughters is this the example and he was like no she's not an example because she's basically not gonna go around my child uh my kids let me see he buy a wig and had to pay right she had to pay him back when i heard that i was like oh wow oh wow i was like you didn't even like you know get nothing out of it really to be honest i mean but yeah she never got flewed out before so that that was a big thing she had to wait till she become a um what do you call it a casualty to her demise for her to you know get treatment like that in which she didn't really you know accept it like you know being grateful she, she really didn't um let me see. Um, Petty said, no, Mocha said, Petty, you ain't never lied. She wears the musty ass hoodies faithfully. Yes. And you could tell when she really going through it because she put that hoodie on so goddamn tight to come on here and scream and holler like somebody's scared. Nobody is scared. Nobody is. Nobody gives a shit. You know, nobody's scared. You wasting your time doing that weird ass screaming and telling screaming, pull up, pull up, pull up. Like, that is, like, the funniest shit for us. We really laugh at you. Um, Hey, Nola, how you doing, love? You coming at the end of the live. We had two hours. I like, know, oh, look at that. I think you two hours. Mocha said she spent her entire disability check to go to St. Cross just for dick. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. When I heard that, like, like she had to, you know, come out of her pockets, I was like, whoa. So why is she talking about you chose it? You you could have did something with your kids for that. <laughs> for all that. <laughs> he got content. Um, Nola said, um, no, let me see. He didn't even want to, um, he didn't want Yana to meet those kids. Right. Talking about um, Sonny. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Sonny would have been in that class <laughs> in the world. <laughs> all right. She would have been in there. Oh, let me see. Melinda said, um, 
And when she changes her pamper, they have to smell her. And she said, ooh. And she said, Marcus ain't mine doing it. And it made her feel good. Honestly, I would never ask a man to do that. Oh, my God. And she also said, you know, she didn't want him to do anything because why? Um, she doesn't want him to get comfortable. She didn't want him to get comfortable because they wasn't going to be together anyway. <laughs> he shut her ass down. Um, he said, I ain't cheating on you because, well, he said, I ain't cheating on you because how can I be cheating on you if I'm single? I know that shit hurt her feelings because she was basically trying to bait him, trying to make him see that they go together or whatever case they go with steady, you know, shit like that. And when she changes, okay, I read that. That was fucking nasty. Um, yelling and carrying on with them demon possessed eyes. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm like, you fucking demon. Look at the thumbnail. Shit. Um, he chose me. He chose me. Damn it. He chose me. Yo, that shit was funny. That shit was funny. I said, chose you for what? How have you leveled up? You over there fumbling the bag every damn where. <laughs> it ain't do nothing. Sorry. Uh, I, I mean, uh, you have gotten enough penis to, you know, to pass up a couple because you said you were selling it. So, I mean, now would have been the right time to sell it. Talking about you don't need nothing from nobody. Now is the time you should have been selling that shit. Okay? Because you need help. <laughs> Let me put you up there. Frankie B be in the building. Let me go down. Melinda said she knew better. She really thought she was that bitch. Yeah, she did. And she really did. And it didn't work. It just did not work. I wonder if she told Social Security about how you... you ch Absolutely not. Why would she? She's not going to do that. She's definitely not going to do that. Um, yes, Mocha, he did choose her for content. <laughs> he sure did. He sure did. And I mean, and don't want to admit it, too. She don't want to admit it. And that's why I think she's actually so mad at Kiki, too, because Kiki put that video up. I think after that day, it, it, she kind of, like, really spiraled, okay? She really did spiral because he said, I think it would be good content. He didn't say, I think it would be great for us to go and hang out together for me to get to know her. Oh, yeah, and I also think it would be great content. <laughs> Didn't she say, um, Marcus said she too ratchet or something like that? Yeah, she did say it. I don't know if she was gaslighting or if it was, you know, the truth. but I mean, he said it in more words than, than one because he said, stop talking about me on your platform, right? Yeah, he damn sure did call her and said, stop mentioning him over there. That was embarrassing. I know she is hurting off of that, okay? <laughs> I know she is. And that's why she's taking it out on everybody else but him. She ain't going to take it out on him right now. She's not because that would prove that everybody else was right. But we already seen it already. We already seen it already. I mean, you, you don't have to be. You could be Stephen Wonder and see what the hell just happened here. Uh, let me see. I brought, I thought he paid for the trip um, to the island. And then I heard that she had to pay her own way. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. How are you taking me on the trip? But she was acting like she was bossed up, though. She really was. She was acting like she was, like, really bossed up. She has her own money. She don't do this. She don't need that. Da, da, da. And, and it's because she's living off of the track. That's it. That's it. Shoes. He should have, like, on a trip like that and for content. Nah, you taking me shopping. We're doing that. Da, 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 da. All, all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, she told her sister last night, what do you have? I get two checks. She said, YouTube um, bringing the bag uh, for her to take care of all of them in that. You you really believe that? I don't believe that. Yo, she is wild. Wait till she see that check. <laughs> she... <laughs> Not everybody in the house, okay? <laughs> um, she said, damn, I must have missed that. Yes, definitely. She's doing the dumb stuff because she wants him to come running right. And he's not. He's not. Girl, you you could be going off of a cliff right now. And he doesn't want to be attached to it. He just does not. Okay, what he's saying to you behind the scenes or whatever to make you feel comfortable. He's not coming out here and doing that. He's not coming out here and do that. 
he's not ruining his ruining his bag for Sunny. Okay, you're just Sunny. Um, she's doing the dumb stuff right. Let me see. That's why you don't sleep with a man on the first night, right? Like it was, it was she was told that you know it was told out here that she slept with him before she even went on the trip. Yikes! Because that's when she was hitting him, talking about you cheating on me and all that stuff while he was on the street trying to get that um lady to um you know in the hotel. So that was wow. Tass said, I asked that last night. I kind of figured she paid her way. That's crazy. That is wild. Like, you didn't get flu out. <laughs> he chose you because he know you were able to pay your way. Because you too busy playing Big Boss and all that shit. Like, no, nigga, I'm on my ass. <laughs> hey, literally. <laughs> I'm a potato on my ass, okay? <laughs> but you want to sit there. I don't know if you guys remember the in, um the you know the stream yard that they did together, and she was just lay there bossed up, like you know, mm -hmm. I got my own bag. I got <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you fake the funk, you know. You fake the funk, and you contact him. He didn't contact you and he made sure he let everybody know that you were bold enough to come in his um and come in his um DMs and he messaged you back because you were desperate. Like Lawana said, you were desperate out here and you know, and he said, You know what? I could get what I want from this chick. It's obvious. And go take a shower before we go to the airport, right? <laughs> Yes, girl. Let me see. Nola said, uh, did she get into it with her sister too? Yes, girl. We got to get them videos because a lot of people said they missed it because they would ask me like, what video, what video? So I was like, yeah, we definitely have to get those videos out so um, everybody can see it. She rolled up on her sister and hit her sister, right? And then she lied about it and said, oh no, she's the one that came up on me and tried me when really she was the aggressor and also lied to the cops, you know, the first time took about she can't hit nobody because she'll tip over talking about hitting her kids mm -hmm. girl girl a whole liar i can't hit my kids because i would tip over she did not tip over when she hit her sister last night okay he sat her um he sat her ass on the countertop so she could um wash her torso in the sink where they brush their teeth oh that's gross um very desperate nola she hit her sister yeah see nola didn't see it it's a few people that didn't see it and um the live is not public uh, let me see what example is she showing her kids nothing how to be a ratchet ratchet ass little bitch that's all she's doing ratchet disgusting heartless what else can we say about her Okay, they will think um, it's okay for a man to come and get what um, he want and leave. And she speak like that in front of them. She speak like that in front of them. Talk about, oh, I'm gonna get some of you know what? Da 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 da. And they're right there. They're right there. Absolutely. <laughs> no one said, oh hell no, nah. oh hell yeah, she did. Oh hell yeah, it was going down over there last night. Before the accident, she was a beast. I saw a video where the girl was um, was like, get off me, Sunny, with all her limbs. Shake my head. Yes. I saw that shit, too. She was there. For, that's why she's so mad. <laughs> that's why she's so mad. She's, she keeps saying, oh, if I had my legs, if I had this. Girl, I saw you. I was talking about that the other day. And that's why I said I have to do a reaction so people can actually see what she was before and like you know why a lot of her frustrations is going on as well um miss juanita said her sister is one of the um is the one that combs her daughter's hair damn no actually it was the aunt i think it was her aunt because she tagged um another lady that did it so it wasn't it wasn't that sister it wasn't a sister and she lied and said her sister kept walking up on her and she wasn't big time lie Big lie. I'm here trying to think, um, would I have hit her ass back? Nola, go back on this replay. We said we all will hit her ass back. <laughs> but she know who to try that with, Nola. Let me tell you, this is what I said. She know who to try that shit with. Because she would not be trying that with somebody who she don't know if you're going to hit her back or whatever. She knows that girl wasn't going to hit her. She knows that shit. 
it's something they go through all the time. It's not even, I don't even think it's something that, oh, just happened. It's something that they go through. Definitely. But um, let me see one more question. Is that the vid is the video still up? No, it's not up, boo. It's not up. But we do got the clips. <laughs> I didn't put it on my stream yard, but we're definitely going to put those videos out. So make sure you get your notifications so that you can see that video. Okay. Let's see, she's nasty. They're all in the dungeon, right? That's what I call it. It's a fucking dungeon, and they probably um hear her texting with texting sexting with Marcus. Yes, mm -hmm. not just I don't want to hit my kids, but I don't um hit them because I'll tip over. Right, right. She did say that, <laughs> darling. I love the detective in you because that's exactly what she said like if i hit them look i'm gonna hit them if i hit them i don't have no balance i will tip over but over there had all the balance and the strength imagine how she be using that arm to punch them kids imagine sunny yes i said it just imagine okay not the leg virgo you got a leg in my chest <laughs> She disgraced her sister so bad on that live. Yes, Tuss said that her poom poom stink, all of that. Yeah, she said her poom poom stink. She don't bathe. I mean, it's clearly we said that. Look how she come on here, dirty, just dirty, dusty. Okay, she uh, people kept saying you're wrong. You need to stop and apologize. She told them all. Yeah, fuck them. She did. And she did. Um, she was worse. That's why God had to shake her up and she still don't get it right. I said that too. I said, I felt like he was protecting her from, you know, being out of here completely. Okay. I, I believe that she definitely um, survived something else because her ass is sit down. She have to sit down. She ain't, she ain't chasing after that dude no more. All of that. I mean, physically. You know, she can't chase after him no more. She can't do all that crazy mess. So she can't get behind an iron steel wheel and put other people's lives in danger. Because obviously she's selfish and wasn't thinking, you know. Obviously. Only selfish people do shit like that. You know how much people, you know, that we know are come across kids and everybody. Like I know, I know someone, you know, young age that got hit by a drunk driver by pulling up on the sidewalk and, you know, and take her out completely. I think she was like, what, 20 at the time. So she could have took anybody's life by doing that weird ass shit. You can't feel sorry for people like that. They will always be freaking, um, they will always be, you know, selfish to their own needs. And that's what she's doing. Look how she's going after the sister about the sister helping her with shit. Like if you would have had an aid in there, you would have been going through that. How about that? Mm-hmm. Um, she can't swing them legs <laughs> and that arm anymore. That's why she really mad. Yeah, we've been figured it out, right, Virgo? Virgo sister there. We've been figured it out. <laughs> Thinking somebody go pull up. No, girl, I'm gonna pull up here and give you that good commentary. Okay. I ain't trying to mess up nothing right now. I'm too old for that. Okay. It's commentary and um and staying pretty. <laughs> Oh my God, Sophia says she never um, even had a carry-on bag to travel with. Right, right. She was all wet at the airport, right. And somebody said that to me and I was like, you know what, you're freaking right. Like we all have that little bag where we have all our needs, even a change of clothes, all of that. Like, so, like I said, she's not, she she wasn't for that. Like, I, I don't think she realized the things that she needed to have for herself. I, I feel like she depended on him thinking that he was somebody that, you know, was going to cater to all her needs, you know? So, yeah, she sat there. <laughs> She sat there in her soil, <laughs> okay, and when a show off for people talk about he chose me, bitch, we glad he chose you, <laughs> so glad he chose you, all right? Um, Luana said, I love you, Chase, you're as real as it gets, thank you, Luana, thank you for the support over here, boo, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, let me see, gotta lay that ass down, for real, Dread had um, said only for them babies. I bet that ain't even purring. It smells. 
Virgo said she gonna stalk um shit to the wrong person. She gonna talk shit to the wrong person, and they gonna roll her ass off of hell. Right? She know she knows her sister wasn't gonna do nothing. She knows that. Um, Mahogany Miller, how you doing? She said, "Yo, my grandfather was killed by a drunk driver in 2018. He was 78 years old, a 19 year old boy. Wait a minute, let me highlight this." A 19-year-old boy was drunk and ran a stop sign. No pity for drunk drivers over here. Absolutely. You're in the right place. Because I don't understand why people are like, you know, condoning that shit. She's a drunk. She was a drunk driver. And even after the fact, Mahogany, instead of going to these places where she can talk to people, even doing it online, because, you know, we're online. It reach, you don't know who it may reach. And instead, she comes here and she's, still getting drunk still getting high still doing everything that got her to that point she could have took lives out that night and she don't get it she really don't get it and i'm so sorry to hear about that because 78 years old that's not even a way to even you know you, you want to die peacefully like you get what i'm saying not even a, a um illness took him out at 78 years old you don't know how long he would have went on, but because somebody was selfish, there's kids passing away out here getting killed by drunk drivers. I don't give a shit about that. We don't care. There's no empathy for that trash over here because you want to know why? She's not doing anything to make it better. She's not doing, she's not, she's not giving back to the community that she friggin' tore down. Okay? She's not. Um, she needs to pack a bag like a baby bag. Yeah, she need them wipes. Okay, she need her, her doodle bag, everything close to her. She need all of that. Um, Petty said, true, true. She forgot he wasn't her man. Right. Although it might have felt like it in her mind. Right. Absolutely. Psych it, it's psychologically because she never had somebody that was willing to go as far as what Marcus did. Right. But he, he knows how to play the game. He was just being um he was just being nice. <laughs> Marcus is thinking with his dickhead instead of his actual head, his fetish for screwing a torso. God forbid. Right right and it, it damn sure did come back around yes prayers for her because I, I i like i said it's a horrible thing she's evil there's no way in hell you can come back from that and not say you know what let me give back to my community let me treat my kids decent let me do something like she's a horrible person i don't i don't give a shit what nobody's want to you know what good they want to see it as long as she keep coming out here like this not giving back to her community not taking care of herself because taking care of herself is giving back to the community because then she would be in a proper mental state to take care of her kids because her kids will be out here one day okay they'll be a part of the community one day so like i said she needs to realize and accept who she is and what she is now and, and start from there. But it's not going to happen because she needs professional help. And that's not something she's willing to do. Okay. Yes, my deepest sympathy um, to Mahogany. Yes, you guys definitely big her up up in here. Big fat. She's a disgrace. A big time disgrace. Out here talking shit when you done did the most freaking selfish act that you can fucking do in still running behind that shit alcohol all the time weed all the time girl that's what got you to where you at um uh, let me see and seven said and that bitch bragged that she didn't get a ticket right i heard that i said oh you evil you're disgusting nobody should feel sorry for your stinking ass nobody juanita said because she um could have went to jail with no legs and arm right absolutely uh let me see then she sits in a car while marcus had been drinking and she's smoking and she got a second chance at life wow that's crazy that's fucking crazy just thinking about it you know the irony of all of that like girl you you wouldn't even want to touch shit mahogany said facts he survived he the um he's a vietnam war wow and everything and then a damn drunk took him out right that's the shit that pissed me off shit went through all of that for some freaking little selfish motherfucker to do that like stuff like that really pissed me off because like i said i have people that got you know um killed like that all right 
Mocha said, a drunk half a body deadbeat and is to them babies. Sure is. What kills me is after Marcus smashed and moved on, she's still over there slaying, um, saying we jealous, right? How? Yeah, we had to lay it down for her the other day, like jealous of what? <laughs> we laid it out for her, like what could we possibly be jealous of? Because I hate your bed and I need a comfortable bed. <laughs> Not even the legs. I just hate your fucking bed. I, I don't like your blanket. I don't like your pillow. I don't like the, the damn cap on the head. I don't like none of that shit. Okay? We, I, I'm able to get in that shower. Thank you, dear Jesus. I'm able to get in that shower. I'm able to take a bath. I'm able to shower. I'm able to do all of that. I can stand on my two legs. If you can say fuck our legs, we can say fuck your nubs. Okay? Plain and simple. Shit, talking about fuck your legs. That's all you guys legs. <laughs> she's so bothered. Like she's so she's jealous of anybody walking on their two feet. Girl, go get the help you need, okay? We can't help you. You won't even work your way to fucking prosthetics. Like, come on now. Mm-mm-mm. You got to get that body strong for prosthetics, girl. You really do. That's why um she's where she's at. Ticket, she's worried about a ticket. Right. Right. Absolutely. Thank you, Batty, for the fear use. Let me see. The anger she has for her physical condition comes out in her behavior, and she really needs to address her trauma, in my opinion. Right. Right. And and she, the thing is, she repeats that. <laughs> she repeats that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because you can hear it. It's talking about, oh, all you got is legs. Oh, you think you do because I don't got legs. That's all she talk about. So that means that's what's bothering her. It's the legs. <laughs> the legs is bothering her. Uh, let me see. My mother-in-law had never seen that truck coming across the lanes when that 21-year-old hit her car and splitting and splitting in half. Oh, my gosh. She didn't even um, make what? She didn't even make it to the hospital. I was supposed to be with her. But I was, oh, what? That's crazy. You see, look at that. Like, there's people that will not, will not support this shit. Like, girl. And to be here and not giving back to the community by telling your story and talking about you were attacked by apes and stuff because you're still not comfortable talking about exactly what happened. Talking about you waiting for a big platform so you could tell your story. Girl, ain't nobody care about that. Um, let me see. Sophia said, I know there are beautiful shorties all over ATL. I get it. Marcus is short. It's short, short. But why he chose the torso? Because he could. she was desperate. She hit him up, right? And he knows that she is somebody that will definitely do what he say. Okay? That's, that's just basically what happened. Okay, and I'm talking about sexually. Yeah. Um, where did you see? Hold on. Let me see. Mr. Oh, where did you see her and her family? Um, where did you see her and her family in five years? Shit. If she's still going at the same rate. I don't see I don't see much happening. I see still going to be at a standstill because she's not leveling up on here and she's not leveling up behind the scenes, okay? She's literally the more money she gets is the bigger bag of ganja that she gets, and more alcohol. You know, more stuff that's going to keep her comfortable in her demise and sedate her from what she's really feeling. You get what I'm saying? So, um until she levels up from that and go actually go seek help then you know maybe um something with me but the way she's going it's gonna be like this for years years to come um let me see i don't like them stuffed animals me neither i hate them shit, so i will i will cut them suckers the fuck up especially when she won't friggin let the babies play with it like what do you mean like let them play with the damn shit like put my teddy bear back the fuck i told you i'll be like what oh my teddy bear you get cuss you cuss them children like that over a teddy bear? Girl. <laughs> I, I mean, yo, you can't make this shit up, right? 
You just cannot make this shit up. Belinda said, my shower works jealous. I think not right. Absolutely. I can walk to my kitchen. Jealous of what, girl? Everybody's speaking on your behavior. That's it. We don't care about nothing. We speaking on your behavior, the bullshit that you do. You keep putting it out for everybody to talk about. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Mahogany said when she um when she put that orange ass Ronald McDonald puppet <laughs> Muppet baby looking ass wig on her head. It ain't no ain't no stopping Sunday. She's on the move. That torso is moving. <laughs> She put the headphones in with that ginger fucking orange wig on. Girl, the lashes, she was, oh, she was in the club. You couldn't tell her she wasn't in the club. She closed her eyes and mean it and looked up at me to herself. I was like, oh. <laughs> she's stuck in that, what, 2020, 20, 2019? Yeah, she's back there somewhere. <laughs> If you can't find Sunny, go look in 2019. She's back over there somewhere. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, I get a kick out of that shit, Sunny. Do, do it again for me tomorrow. I will be over there watching you. Because <laughs> that shit funny. She turned into something else and think she could talk to anybody somewhere because she put her wig on. Like, Girl, you can't talk to everybody like that because you cut your wig on. <laughs> Like I'm a bad bitch. I'm a I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> Honey, play that next time when you do that. When you put the wig on and shit, play that song. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a Minaj, okay. <laughs> I would love to see you rock out to that. <laughs> Virgo said nobody jealous of a torso and not and not especially a torso that's out here being disgusted to her kids. Like girl. No, we don't want to do that, okay? We just don't want to do that at all. Mm -mm. Sophia, because that man, let me see what he said. That man is weird and has issues. He smashed homeless women. You don't even know how often those women bathe, right? That's so worrying. But let me tell you, like, I can't, I can't really watch him like that. Girl, the way how he touches his hands in his nose and his mouth constantly y'all don't see that i'm finicky <laughs> and i would think that's even too finicky i think that's just like disgusting he takes his hands like he it's not washed and he will wipe his nose like for some reason his nose is always like have this running issue and he like wipes his hands well, his nose. yeah wipes it and then he wipes the corner of his mouth and rub all around it and stuff like i was like should i make a video because i'm cringing off of this shit you don't wash his hand that shit was nasty then she says um why didn't she just die yes i remember that that video was crazy right because you have two beautiful children that's why right you tell her but she doesn't care she doesn't care a big one a big one but she's not willing to put that out there because um, then, you know, she does not want to look vulnerable. We already seen you cry, I mean, many times on here, okay? Mahogany, I be telling people, don't stay here, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going to come out this mouth sometimes, okay? And I, I don't want y'all to hate me now. <laughs> Let me see. The water said, bump them nubs, right? That's why she mad at us and the kids. We can walk, right? Because that's all she talk about, Luana. Like, we don't even talk about it as much as she do. Like, she talks about it. And she's like, oh, you know, uh, y'all jealous of me. Only thing y'all got is legs. Like, no, baby. No. It, it goes a lot further than that. How you down is the first of Lord bless and host. <laughs> I know. I know, but she is ridiculous with it. Let me see. Mocha Ill left all out. She's not washing her head now. How? Oh, uh, she's not watching her head. How she go um, wash that ass? Right, not her hands. And then armpits. Yeah, where the stash that doo doo bag? Yo, according to what you know, everybody is saying, like she really called Noel to freaking empty that shit. She calls the child. No, I wonder. Um, the kids dad haven't gotten those kids because he ain't shit neither. 
he ain't shit before before the accident and everything she was fighting for him to come and get the kids and went off on the girlfriend you know because um she's with him and he's not taking care of his kids and you know she went off she went off i'm gonna do a reaction on that but like i said earlier like there's no way in hell like that could be a fam those kids could be a part of my family and we're not going to do something about it. Like, there's nobody moving in. There's nobody moving in to say, you know what? We've had enough. We watched you. We saw what you did. We saw how you screamed at them. We saw that you hit them. We saw this. We're moving. Get those girls for a couple weeks, you know, and get something, um, you know, in motion for them. Because they don't need to be around her so much. I'm, I'm sorry, sonny, but you're, you're fucked up you're fucked up okay um sophia said y'all see her text saying um anyone kissing marcus will be tasting her that's nasty yes yes i saw that like come on but like someone said um he's been tasting and doing all of that so you're been you've been tasting other women too so i mean what's the difference uh, unless she knows she's freaking nasty and you know and she's trying to say like well I was nasty and you know you guys are kissing on him yeah <laughs> that's the only thing i could think of because you've been tasting and swimming in everybody else's juices so okay everybody's swamp water um luana said her channel could be so big huge a double empathy that um is a single mother and have her kids. okay that's uh that's something huge all right the disappointment She's been fumbling the bag her whole life, okay? Yeah. Um, let me finish reading it. It says, it goes to show that she has some serious issues, mental. Yes, absolutely. If she still don't know what to do by now, stuffed animals probably smell like shit, right? Them poor babies be trying to play with the stuffed animals, Petty LaBelle. And that was me talking about screaming and hollering for them shit. I be like, girl, where they Barbie dolls? Get they Barbie dolls and... And y'all sit there together and do something. Shit. Mocha said that wig, though. <laughs> the lip gloss. I'm telling you. That wig. Don't forget the headphones. <laughs> Why she don't got earpods? <laughs> like, you know, that and that. It, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We're done for. She's uh, She is better than all of us. The ones that wig and that freaking lip gloss and a little lash and that headphones. She's up in the club. Up in the club. <laughs> That's what she doing, okay? She always said that she would be tucking um, his... T Ooh. Oh, my God. <sighs> This is too much. <laughs> she brushed the wig on live over and over again, sounded like a sandpaper girl. You know, I had to put that in a. <laughs> I know, yo, I know. It's so crazy. And she threw it right in front of there. Stop using the camera as a freaking uh, a mirror. It's not a mirror. And she really needs to do, like, you know, everything in a mirror before she comes on camera. Um, let me see. Her behavior is the only reason I watch and still get sick to my stomach because um, the bitch just don't get it right. I can't stand um, to hear her voice when she's pretending to be happy. Yes, yeah, like, oh, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Sophia said she can't do no doggy style of foot uh, or foot punch shoulder. Yes, yeah, she's a foot punch shoulder. <laughs> Does he move her around and put her in a position sexually? Yes. I believe that he, because she said he lifted her up, you know, and I've been probably, you know, in, in kind of behaviors where, you know, we don't want to imagine, but I'm sure he had a ball because that's his fetish, you know, I'm sure. Um, Mocha said he got something way past post nasal trippage, him sick sick. Yes, I don't like it. Like, why is and then, if you know your nose always running go grab a fucking tissue man go grab tissue do something darling said that thick white tongue he has says a lot right right and always have it out. Yeah. what's up youtube i'm sorry i can't help myself y'all i'm mad i came here on a sunday for this bullshit y'all 
Let me see. Ronnie said, I'm real life laughing tears. Chase said she put that wig and lashes on. It's oh, it's over for us, bitches. <laughs> it's over for us, bitches. That's what she, <laughs> that's how she looking. And when she looked in the camera, I said, oh my gosh, she's in her head right now. She's fucking in her head. <laughs> I be rolling. Y'all just don't understand how much I be laughing at that shit. She be so hella serious about it. Girl, the only thing that I don't want you to think that I'm giving you advice. You use the word advice. Make sure you guys watch um watch um Danny with the Beats video. Make sure you guys watch it. I shared it on my community if you're not following. Definitely get over there and watch it because that video was well put together, all right? She she called my name, talking shit, whatever the case may be. But you got to hear what she is saying to justify it, okay? I didn't play here because I want you guys to go and watch it. Um, and uh, we're definitely going to talk about it again because you guys are going to have a, a, a ball laughing at the shit that she said. She glorified, you know, selling vagina and not having no money to show for it. Like, I was, I was, I was, keyword is was, Sunny was, and you wasn't even that bitch then, okay? You wasn't, wasn't. <laughs> You broke up then with left and you broke up now without no legs. Okay, that's 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 the problem. And that's why you're mad. Because if you was a real boss, you'd have been sitting on something right now. You'd have been Gucci. All right. Um, Belinda said, I have heard people try to talk um, advice to her and she goes to the left and starts to curse them out. She can't help her. Um, you can't help her because she doesn't want to be um, helped. Right. She doesn't want to help herself, right? You know, and like I said, Taz, though, you know, she has a channel as well. Make sure you guys tune in. It's fun over there. And she freaking, you know, went in the chat. I'm like, Taz, she's not going to listen to you. She's not going to do none of that. She went in the chat, made a statement to her, and she deflected and acted a fucking fool. I said, see, told you. <laughs> told you. It all went down on Baddies Live. That's when we got the information. So I was playing it in the background and everything like that. So if you guys want to check that out until the video is out on these YouTube streets, make sure you guys check it out. It's at Baddie Dolt, okay? It's at Baddie Dolt. So make sure you guys go over there and go watch some of that video as well. Um, let me see that hairy tongue. <laughs> that, what? Yeah, that's what I call Marcus tongue with that white stuff on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck, you know, we have these tools, you know, that you can get from the pharmacy where you can literally scrape, 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 scrape your tongue, Marcus. Like, that's gross. Out there eating boxes and homeless boxes and doing all that wild stuff. You wild. He's really wild. I don't think he would really even give a fuck about life neither. <laughs> Cause ain't no way, boy. Oh, uh, let me see. You have me laughing my ass off. Those kids are gonna resent her um, for the way she treats them. Absolutely, it's already in the making. It's just that they have manipulation right now, where she's telling them nobody wants you. Um, even your own father don't care about you. Like you know all that stuff. Like why did they need to know that? Mahogany said, and she said, um, she got compression sores on her ass from sitting in that damn chair all day. Sure did. That's why she was grunting like that. You see, when she tried to move to the side and she grunting, it's that grunt with the bags down all at the same time. It, it's just too much. And I'm trying to get the content together, but sometimes it just be too much. It's depressing. Fucking depressing. Oh, uh, let me see. Belinda said, Michelle, I'm over here laughing my ass off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're having a good time. I can't believe it. Two hours and 44 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I guess I'm making up for yesterday and today, right? Um, Elisa said, if I saw that man walking on the streets, I'd ignore him. Right. Absolutely. Because she's telling us what he's doing with his mouth. And she... <laughs> Oh, with or without the capita, because she don't even know when the P is coming. Like, she's really, she's disabled, disabled, and out here not getting the help that she need, man. Girl, boss up. Boss the fuck up. He wouldn't, right, mm -mm, he wouldn't get no response from uh, none of us. None of us. And he's smashing with our con. 
right because it's proof because homegirl was pregnant right oh my gosh that nigga wow yo he wow <laughs> not just nasty <laughs> Oh my God! Say K M S L. Yo, who asked me on Sunday? <laughs> I'm sorry, boo. Oh my goodness! Don't forget the stars to cover the pimples. That's a lot of stars. Damn, that was a lot. I was like, damn. I thought they were for pimples. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Oh my God, Sophia said, where those shots being fired at him in the real ATL? That can't be true. Anyone heard about it? No, I didn't hear about that. Wow. Where did you get that from? I want to leave me over there. There's another channel I watch. The lady is a double amputee. She's a wife and a mother of three boys. Her channel is so beautiful and positive. Drop her channel. Sister Dare, share her channel to your community so we can um so we can see it. Let me see. Mocha said mahogany. Um, them stars truly looks like a pre-K art class project. It sure do. <laughs> Mocha cutting up, y'all. <laughs> it sure flipping too. Pretty girls family said what? I thought those stars was tattoos after seeing them in a different places for so long. <laughs> And so they actually are stickers wow yes they are <laughs> they are she said yes i hate when he say what's up you two <laughs> like, yo because that should be having me too i be laughing like fuck i'm like these people funny as hell <laughs> yes boss lady and call us bro i was like what <laughs> girl mm -mm. What you trying to make a living for? This is a hobby, baby. Mm -hmm. A hobby you get paid for. Try it. Maybe you can be relaxed enough to actually make a, make some good money out here. Because, honey, your support system sucks. They sitting there listening to you and ain't giving you a damn thing. Nobody ain't dropping a big bag on you. I've never seen somebody drop the hundred on you. Maybe if you was coming out here and you know and actually doing the right thing, we would have been over there dropping bags on you, girl. Mm -hmm. You know you you know you want that shit, okay? Nobody's sending their supporters to support you. None of that is going on. None of that because they know you're you're literally just gonna smoke the shit up. You're gonna smoke the shit up. I can see if you're taking care of business, handling business, and smoking at the same. But but you you get you're just not, you know. And it's it's really depressing. Nobody wants to take care of you like that. Those people are just depressed and just want to watch you roll up and smoke and and living your shit. So like, oh, they're talking about you again. Well, how they know? I'd be like, how the fuck you know? <laughs> Why are you over there? We should be getting our content together over here. <laughs> Yo, that's too funny. They be telling her word by word, and they're like, "Oh, there's a light skinned girl talking about you." Oh, oh, um, her name is Chase, and she's like reading over it, going over it, and over it. <laughs> they wrote cut to the chase in her um in her thing. They they, they thought she, she was they was telling her to cut to the chase. No, no, girl, you know what they mean. It's cut to the chase, baby. <laughs> too damn funny let me see um that dripping note gives me fried nostril too much white powder in my opinion oh allegedly oh my gosh yeah because that that cause a dripping right mm -mm. that <laughs> jazzy come get me <laughs> Come get me. Let me see. Luana said, that's how you know something is um, something wrong with the people upstairs, right? They won't even get the kids out the basement. The sister could do so much, right? And the dad stopped giving them melatonin, right? Sure did. Took my day upstairs with my dad. Y'all want it, right? Y'all want it, right? And it still didn't put it in the bag because when the police came, they um, the police said they were up. And that's what they used to. And let's be repetitive again that the little girl said that you were on live on YouTube and I couldn't sleep. And she tried to shut her up so damn fast. Okay. Let me see, Mammy. You could never. Absolutely not. Shoot. Girl had to get lifted up and lifted and all of that. And want to talk about like she's body. What's, 
was the difference we knew you were jealous of that girl there too what was the girl named isis or something like that yeah she held her da head down really fast <laughs> she held her head down she was feeling some type of way um let me see used to be a hoe mm -hmm. it's given it's definitely given that because why he keep wiping his hands and his nose running every minute like oh get a tissue and go wash your hands my nigga okay um let me see the pretty girl's family said them people don't want her um want to help her so she's nasty mm -hmm. and ungrateful shit i wish i was in somebody's basement right now i'll be the nicest person right cleaning up getting the shit together having you know like come on it ain't cheap out here it, it's just not shit alicia said um that's how i found out about the um thump <laughs> alicia wicked <laughs> you're wicked i am terrific said also them dry ass cracking smoke lips right mm -mm. too much going on over there for us <laughs> We be trying, we be trying to ignore it, but it's kind of hard, okay? Sophia said, the big white tongue, did you mean the big white towel hanging from his mouth? Sonny's towel? Because <laughs> that's exactly what she put out there. You understand me? Like, she didn't even care. She didn't even care, okay? Uh, how he would feel or anything like that. Just put it out there. Yeah, he ate my catheter cooch <laughs> that I ain't washing that haven't been emerged in water in two years. Sure did. Luana said, Chase, you are the bomb, baby. Thank you, Pooh. Let me put you up there because I'm I'll definitely feel myself after that. <laughs> Pretty girls family said, damn, this sad. Sunny came on the wrong app trying to trying to wrong people. Right. Hopefully this humbles her. Right. Absolutely. She's definitely weighing thin. Hopefully it weighs thin on her enough where she can clean up her fucking act out here. Get your content going on. Clean up your act. The fuck? She said if CPS takes her kids, she's going to let them know it's because of us. <laughs> us? How? How? We don't live in her house. If they come and take your kids, that's because they see something fucked up going on, girl. So, I mean, come on now. <laughs> How you know what they going to do? What are they going to do? Okay. Your shoes. Um, <laughs> Miss Juanita said, with this powder lips, right? You never hear him talk about um, going to the doctor. I wonder how often he gets checked for his STDs or H, um, HIV is the question, right? And, and living out there and people on the street, he's with women that's continuously selling their body. Not saying that women that don't sell their body can get it, but you know, you're putting yourself at a, uh, at a big higher risk, okay? Um, let me see. Yes, I know she probably has. Um, dip oh, them oh, oh gosh, girl. And I'm telling you, the way she grunts, the way she grunts, you know something is going on down there. Yes, thank you, Virgo. Yes, put that out so we can support her channel. Because there's a few amputees on here that's definitely doing their thing. They're not on here mentally, physically, you know, abusing their kids and, you know, um, you know, screaming, hollering, you know, um, showing all a uh, stripping drunk and doing all that wild stuff. You know, they, they're just not doing that. They don't have to do that. They come on, their supporters are there for them. They are showing you how, you know, they're living their daily lives and everything like that. It's not normal for her to lay there all day and do that. It's just not, it's not, it's unacceptable as well for those babies. It really is. Um, let me see girl people be scared and confused some be laughing when they realize what he doing with the greet <laughs> right <laughs> yes oh my gosh too damn funny yes he do screams that shit out that's funny too let me see what's up youtube <laughs> what's up youtube <laughs> Okay, so you're telling me that he touched you there and you really liked it? Did you you, you did you like it or was it something that was unacceptable? And like I was I was only I was only nine. Like, you know, like that shit, that shit, he is wild, yo. He is wild. Um uh, she's not supposed to be sitting in that chair like that um for hours. Yes. 
I'm sure she has them bad. I'm sure she does. And you don't see her massaging nothing. Like you're supposed to like massage moisturizers and stuff like that into your skin daily for her. You know, that's why I said she she's fucked. She's fucked. She's damaging herself. 28 by the time she's 35, she's gonna be looking like shit complete shit because right now her whole collar bone to blood clot is sitting out everything my girl needs supplement she need freaking nutriment she need freaking insure she need all of that she needs some blend up vegetables she need all of that she need everything she need every fucking thing because she look weak out she's thinning out over there she on that shit <laughs> all day depressed and shit in front of them girls Shit, Nola said every time you say that shit, laugh my ass. <laughs> oh, not going. Cool. I'm gonna say that now. You gonna have to trademark that shit. Um, she made an Amazon wish list, but then told people that the kids are too bad for anything. Yes, yes, that was terrible. Y'all better not send them shit and all. I'm like too bad. It's you. You're the one that's too bad, too horrible, too disgusting. It's you, bitch. <laughs> Don't try to blame it on them. <laughs> Shit. Let me see. People wanted to buy the kids' clothes, but she didn't want. Um, she didn't know what size they were because she ain't buy shit. That's why she don't do shit for them. So she don't know they size. Don't know shit. Darling, she be dancing on her nubs and having fun with her family. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> The one that I have, like, she that I watch, she be using her toes, girl, and do every damn thing. Her toes is her fingers, and she make it happen, okay? I think she's smoking that white stuff sprinkled on her weed. That's how um, she stay up for 24 hours on live. Oh, girl. Yeah, that, that's rough, yo. That's friggin' rough, allegedly, in our opinion. <laughs> I got that from Kiki Prime's boyfriend channel with Marcus clutch his pistol when that dude pulled up on him. Yes, I was telling everybody about it to check it out. His, yo, I didn't know he was so small. <laughs> That's a small man. And that guy was handling his ass. Oh my God. He was handling him. I mean... And he was all that little thing. I said, that's him, 5'5". Five, five. Oh, wow. <laughs> I went, oh, wow. That's a little man. It's a little man over there. I'm sorry. I just, you know. Oh, um, let me see. The movie Emperor said, oh, for free, by the way, I noticed my um my therapy techniques work out beautifully for everyone. Oh, wow. Okay. That's awesome. Um, she bossing, but asking people for school supplies, supplies and clothes for her kids. She's a boss. Yeah, right. Boss hog. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the part I didn't get. That's the part I didn't get. Um, they probably don't mind helping, but she need more help than they can provide. And she's ungrateful and hateful. Right. Right. But the, the, um, the, the sister said last night, like they tired of that shit. They're tired of her. I found this really nice young lady. Her name is Alana. So different. I think she's originally from NYC, but Jamaica background. Um, she has disabilities in her arms, but yo, she a whole vibe. Check her out. Okay. One of my sisters snapshot that for me and send it to me. I'll definitely check her out. Let me see. Pretty girl said, oh, I feel so bad for them babies. Me too. Me too. That's it. And that's all. Okay, people want to say, oh, I feel so bad, everybody. No, you can't feel bad for somebody like that. She she know them babies need better care. Okay, she knows that. But she's not willing to put the effort towards doing that. They won't put her out. Somebody in that house is getting a check for that infected torso. <laughs> what the fuck, Boca? But it's true. It's true, guys. They are getting a check for that. She definitely is. And that's why her voice, you know... Um, basically it's over the other sister because the sister's not putting that out, okay? I was thinking that too. They need to forcefully put one in there. Look, she said, shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to the BX. Shout out to all five birds. I love my birds, yes. Um, Alicia says she needs some dumpling and yum, dumpling and yum, some, um, um, so, um, not even softness. She needs some color law on top of that. Like, you know, she needs, she needs a lot. I definitely say the supplement though. She need the supplement, but 
bad 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 she need the milkshakes and she needed all them collarbone is just like is looking at me and shit i'm like damn i said y'all look how big her head is to her body now it's like crazy y'all need to see like that's why i said she needs to stop looking in that camera and she needs to get a fucking mirror and sunny sunny look into that mirror girl Look into that mirror. Something ain't going right. I'm telling you. Get get that good nutrients. Is you're gonna need that shit. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. That feeding tube. It, it's like a feeding tube and a aid in there. You know, making sure that she's getting this this shit. Is she even taking vitamins, iron, none of that? She is she even doing any of that? We don't see any of that. The first thing somebody said to me, like, yeah, the first thing she get up, like, it's not to brush her teeth or do anything like that. It's to make sure she get that blunt in her mouth. The first thing every morning. That's wild. And literally lay there in the morning and not say shit. All right. Thank you for that. Look at my, my beautiful flag. Yes, yes, yes. Um, never understood why Marcus allowed these women to give out their sex websites to men. He's really helping them stay where they are. Right. Right. Condoning that shit. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's sort of like, you know, pimping out or some shit. That's crazy. But good point, Angela. All that um take out ain't good for her, especially her digestive. Yes. And um, you could get gastritis like that. You know, it's a lot of things that can happen to her like that. She needs some good, good food. Good food. Shit that she's not willing to have the patience to do. Like, you know, just not. I'm a nurse and I know she's not supposed to be sitting in her chair all day. We get patients um, up, turn them from side to side. Yes, every minute. Go over there and turn them. But she can't even do that. She lays on one side all the time. And then one time I heard her say, like, yeah, I got to I gotta um start, like, trying to lay on my back. Because she throws the noodle around her fucking arm, y'all. She, uh, around her shoulder, like, towards her chest. And it just looked crazy. And she lays on that side. Like, of course it's going to hurt. Every minute she's like, oh, my arm hurt. It's not supposed to hurt that much. Like, girl, Belinda said, y'all are all crazy. I'm in tears. Belinda, I know you ain't talking. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. And she going to say, no, I didn't. I didn't tell you that to say that sick half a right. <laughs> we saw you. Oh, my God. Yes, ma'am. Marcus ain't want no smoke at all. That shit was funny. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go back and watch that. What y'all think? Definitely. Um, Sophia said, Bumble clot. Did I hear Chase belt out blood clot? <laughs> it happens. It happens. Sometimes be like, I don't understand what Chase is saying, but sometimes with certain things, like I don't even know how to say it, so it just blurt out. So it's like, enjoy it. All right. <laughs> she said, Go girl, I'm loving you in this channel already. Also, love you for loving this channel also. Um, Jazzy said Dolan I found it. I didn't see what Dolan said. Make sure you guys um let me know because you know StreamYard be wild now sometimes. Um pretty girl said, Man, let's talk about her moderators. They're extremely rude. Oh yes, you know I talk about them. Especially especially Veli. Yeah, he, that motherfucker could be in this chat right now for all we know. Like this dude got so much time on his hands. I don't think this fucker even wash his ass. Okay, Veli, you don't wash your ass. You're gonna be on the chopping block next. Look at for the streets for the streets was just like you in there and you fought for the streets out out of there you wanted for the streets out of there because that was one of her favorites that's you know because you know kissing her ass and doing all of that stuff and you was on that person's ass forever to get that person out of there okay it's like they're fighting for a spot and i'm like what spot these people are really desperate <laughs> Dolly, you don't wash your ass, okay? You don't wash your ass and you keep amping her. You don't even look like you have kids. You look like you got shit going on sitting in that fucking dark ass room every day. Talk about Sunday. Sunday, you can call you can call me night or day, Sunday. Or night and day. It doesn't matter, Sunny. All my life belongs to you, Sunday. And she gonna turn around and tell you the same shit that she told for the streets. 
She gonna say, uh, lick it, suck it, go that, yeah, you was busy sucking this and sucking that and lifting up the nubs and waving it in the air. The same shit that she did to For the Streets. The same shit. <laughs> it was real funny when For the Streets and her was going at it in the chat. <laughs> that shit had me on the floor because I was like, yeah, who's next? <laughs> Belly is definitely, but all Belly gonna do is make another page and come in there and kiss her ass again. No, sorry guys, sorry. You're gonna suck on them nubs again, okay? That that's what the fuck, <laughs> that's what the fuck he gonna do, cause he this dude literally makes all these friggin' channels and trolls all friggin' day. Like, what are you doing in fucking UK? There's so much shit that you could be doing. That's how I know that you are definitely just. A troll that sit in a dark ass fucking room and fondles herself and say, Sunday, Sunday, all fucking day. I I could just see you. I could just see you as that nigga. (laughs) Thank you, Sophia, for my 999. Thank you, boo. Oh, let me see. Michelle said, wake and bake. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with wake and bake, but baby, get your shit together. She could have a nice ass freaking room, even have, you know, a stand that has that's appropriate for the ganja. You know, the kids are in school like, OK, guys, I'm going to have a, you know, a smoke with you guys or whatever. And then start my other content. I will see you guys later. I'm going to have this content like she's not like that. So it just seems like you just abusing the shit like gross. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Alicia said, "Okay, which one of them chicks said they want to do something different?" Not. Um, let me see. Not Lily. Not West Indie. How can we blame him for the chicks he meet and what they're supposed to, and what they chose to do? I'm just saying that's true. That's true. Also, um, let me see. She needs a part of that. She she needs a peppermint syrup. <laughs> I want to go over there and squirt the peppermint soap at you, Sunny. I want to scroll, scrub and squirt it, okay? But listen, if I pull up, that's the only time I'm going to be on, okay? To wash, help you wash your ass and clean your fucking self up and cook you a good curry chicken meal or something like that for your ass, okay? And give you, throw you a supplement, something, all right? But you got to put me on that fucking payroll and shit. Let me see. Potato rotten. You, you got to put rotten potato at its finest, okay? Because I like potatoes, okay? I, I like potato soup, but I don't like a rotten potato. So we're going to get her, you know, the, the rotten potato title, all right? <laughs> Golden said she got the pressure sores from sitting in that chair too. Yeah, it's too much, right? That's why she will get, um, get in bed sometimes and go, yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that too. Golden Signatures, it's your video I was actually watching earlier. And um, I was just like, yeah, I went back and I check out the um, the video of him basically saying, you know, of her calling him while he was on the move and working and, you know, saying, oh, you're cheating on me already and all this other stuff. So that gives me the insight. And this was actually before the trip. So that just gives me the whole insight that, you know, he he been was laying it down okay uh mocha said Veli in the wheelchair just like his boss they got time all damn day Sunday when he up there on the thing and i heard him i said i'm getting the fuck out of here <laughs> but Sunday they don't know how we're gonna come Sunday we, we could take them all down Sunday <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> Sonny, I know you over there like, what the fuck? This nigga girl is fucking crazy. I know you're thinking that too, but you just need everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But his voice, you know, that, that, that South Brit accent is just fucking killing me. Miss 007, I see you. Oh, let me see. I know, right? Let me go down so I can read the rest of y'all. Because, look, y'all kept me here for three hours. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving y'all asses, Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, let me see. The pretty girl's family said exactly they are always on the live and ready to argue no matter the time of the morning. Right, right. Because even when um, like people who are unknown to the channel said, oh, what is this about? Is she really sleeping and stuff? They start going off on them. I'm like, how is she supposed to gain support if you guys keep, you know, running her shit like that? That's so weird. She needs to turn that live off. She really do. 
she needs to turn the live off when she goes to sleep. Um, I mean, but even when she's up, it's still freaking a chaos over there. There's no, there's no coordination. There's nothing going on. It's fucked up. Um, Virgo said, thank you for the support, Sophia. Yes, we're always grateful. Uh, let me see Golden Singh say, really? Is Veli really in a chair? I hear people saying that Veli said Sunny is asleep, asleep like a baby. It's been a long day. <laughs> Yeah, that shit is funny. Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm not <laughs> for the street said it. Okay. Let me see. That shit was funny with for the streets and all that. That shit was funny. I was like, what? <laughs> is she going on for this person that been going hard in everybody chats and running around and all that with their head cut off yo when she switched it around on them and said <laughs> and said you suck my shit you kiss my ass and lift up that nub and all that stuff i was like oh <laughs> he called sunny homeless <laughs> oh she whatever it was called her homeless all types of shit um let me see i am terrific said what's crazy she is with the shits like she really believes him right <laughs> yo did you notice that <laughs> he's like he's like sunny we're gonna take them all down sunny they just don't know they just don't know <laughs> i'm like <laughs> and she's like yup yup <laughs> i'm like sunny you know that nigga ain't gonna do nothing stop this shit stop your shit okay well you ain't doing shit just sitting in that dark room being Freaking delusional. Go eat some beans and sawfish together, Nicole. And chill out and some toast and some tea. All right. Mm-hmm. She needs that gel cushion for her wheelchair. Yes, that's what I said. She needs all these things that she is not freaking getting or using. Like, how are you bossed up? Girl, bye. Um, Sophia said, Didn't um they say he's a white guy? Yeah, he's a white guy. He showed his hand. Who makes money from people beefing on YouTube? He's always gaslighting and doing the most. He's not even in the USA, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And talk about um, he makes all these different pages. He has different pages, and and he you know pretends and go in people chats and try to befriend them and all types of stuff. And I was like, obviously, this is what he did to you because I'm sure he was already in the chat as somebody else. You get what I'm saying? I believe that he's literally, I told my sisters, I think he's actually like playing like different sides and in the chats as different people and like trying to stir up things and do things like that. He definitely seems like the type, okay? Because anybody talk about, I'm available nights and day, all day, all night, Sonny. Everything revolves around you, Sonny. <laughs> oh my God, she, she does. She do go on there for viewing hours, but she could at least like turn the chat off or something like that because she's actually running people away by having the the mods in there doing that, Golden. You know what I mean? That's kind of weird. How is she supposed to grow? And I'm not talking about just growing, just grow support, you know? They're not even answering the questions for the people. Like, if you come in here with a question, like, if I don't see it, my mods are going to answer it for you and be respectful. Unless you come in here being disrespectful and nasty, oh, they're going to turn up. But other than that, like, they're not going to be nasty. Your questions are going to get answered. Okay? If I miss it, they're going to snapshot it. They're going to send it to me. And I'm going to answer your question. Okay? You don't have to be nasty. You be nasty, I'm, I'm nasty right back, okay? Veli likes to go to Sonny's ops and enemies, spamming their pages with a wand. Yeah, one of um his YouTube names is Luna. Wow. I believe that because, you see, like, I'm, we're over here. We're on to a lot of that stuff already. You get what I'm saying? We're on to a whole lot of that stuff. So it's not a lot of stuff that really get by us. Yeah. We, you see all these mods, like they're they're on it, they're on it, they're not playing. We we've been through all of that. We're not new here, you know. <laughs> we're not new, Valet. Valley, we're not new. We're on to you, Valley. <laughs> Mocha said for the street said a lot of uh, a lot um, when she switched up on him. Yes, 
<laughs> Yo, for the streets said a whole lot. <laughs> For the streets said a whole lot. Like, you think you're a superstar? Oh, all this shit that went to your head. Girl, I was there. I was real. <laughs> I was having a good time. I was like, oh, 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 it's a screen record. <laughs> That's one time I was there for that. Oh, uh, let me see. All because for Marcus um, was fouled for setting up cameras to record their sex effects. Yes, definitely put that out there. Definitely. And she was denying it and all that other extra stuff. Like, you know, he he got it now. He don't need you. Um, Marcus said she put um, she put it on him, didn't she? Woke up with him right after that first date. Yes. Yes. Um, I think Kiki had talked about that, right? I think I think it was a uh, yeah, it was Kiki. Kiki did talk about that. And I did watch it, and it was something else. Like, she described the whole thing. I was like, oh, let me go watch it. And I sure did. (laughs) Belinda said, you sound funny as fuck. I spit out my drink when you said he probably sit and fondles himself sunny. (laughs) Sunny. (laughs) While he's on live and all that. He hyped as hell. He'd be like, sunny, when are we going to do StreamYard, sunny? Sunny, let's do StreamYard, Sunny. <laughs> she said the other day, I'm not doing no more StreamYard. <laughs> Sunny, we can all take them down. I'm like, oh man, not this nigga talking about taking people down and all that for commentary. I'm like, damn, I ain't with this shit. <laughs> I ain't with this belly. <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> Nola said, yes, your moms are really sweet. I always feel welcome, and that's what it's about. Definitely. I love that. Shout out to you guys. And this is why I'm giving an awesome giveaway out. I I definitely um, figured out what I'm going to do. I have to download that little um, circle thing, put all your names in it, and let me throw some bags at my babies. Um, But that was funny, though. That was, I I find him hilarious when he says, Sunny. Sunny, they don't know. Like, and then one night he was talking about Sheena, and he's like, and he's like, and Sheena, we went over there, you know, and we were we we went with no with no malice and 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 we went in peace. And Sunny went, I ain't going no motherfucking peace. And he was like, Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like she shut his ass down. <laughs> like you see, Valley, that's a that's another strike right there. Be good, Belly. Be very good. <laughs> Belinda said, yeah, she sure does need a cushion in her chair. Yes, yeah, she does. She needs so much therapeutic um, items, like too much for her to just be smoking ganja all day and drinking and popping pills and doing whatever. Nice to 89 hey, sis. You are super late. We are three hours in. I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to get, I mean it this time, okay? I freaking mean it. Let me see, Golden um, Signature says, Belly has Sunny trying to practice YouTube now. She was um, spamming Sheena's live those um, with those wands too. Freaking crazy. Um, all of my babies up in here, we're going to be, this is going to be like blocking, blocking, blocking immediately. We don't play that shit. We definitely don't. And Belly, you try that shit over here. I will I will come to UK and smock your ass, you bloody owl. <laughs> Mahogany said, laugh my ass off. Y'all take y'all talking about her sidekick. That sound like Austin Power. <laughs> he is. Like he's yo, he's literally over there like they know that they can't mess with us. You know we will take them down. I I take down channels for a living. I'm like, yo, what's wrong with you? You over there gaslighting her like you really about to do something. Taz, don't make sure you guys are subscribed. She said, shout out to all the Dalt Mod sisters. Y'all are awesome. And they are amazing, amazing, just amazing. How can I be so lucky? Lexine, how you doing? She said, let's not forget that Sunny said that she wanted to get back to driving again. Oh, heck no. Yes. Yes, I was like, there's no way in hell she could get, um, uh, is her license still valid? Shouldn't that be done already? There's no way. What was she going to do? Like, come on now. Oh, hell no. We will definitely do a petition not to have that motherfucker back on the road. Lexine, 
we are going to have a petition if that ever gets to that but we know that she's just talking being delusional like always we're not letting that go down study you will not be going on no goddamn road again it's not happening all right we don't trust you shit <laughs> well, hell no melinda said he would put that video in a group with car- um with cartoons marcus likes to go back in and watch yes what he has done their tape goes beside the video of the flingstones yuck <laughs> yuck <laughs> yuck oh golden says she drunk and smoked up her seat cushion right people was was really helping her in the beginning before they really saw how nasty she was you know she wants prosthetics yeah and then she tells it's like she goes back and forth with it one minute she says she wants the prosthetic she's working towards it then the next minute is something else i i don't know like she needs help nola she needs help like see she needs help boss jazzy she needs help like <laughs> Y'all, let me see. Between her check, the kids check, and the cat shafts, she had enough, uh, enough to get what she needed. And I couldn't be more than in agreement with you because, yes, she need all them pillows. She need all them, them comforters. She she needs so much. She she needs a lot. I want her to get a new bed. All the bars are missing and stuff like that. It looks bad. She she needs like a um a, she needs a recliner. She needs a she needs a lot of stuff. Not a little stuff that will help things. I saw the stuff folded up and it was just sitting in the corner. And I'm like, what the hell? No, get something from Amazon, girl. Nola said, let me see. Nola said that's why she want to raise money to get the van. Um. <laughs> she do plan on driving i i don't see it happening i really just don't they took her license forever as they should as they should she does she does not need to have that back and i swear that's something i would definitely be karen about okay i am going to be a karen all right i'm gonna be a whole karen for that bitch like a petition (laughs) sign sign okay i will be doing one you will not be getting on the road the way you get fucked up and unhinged okay you don't know how to control your emotions so you ain't gonna be out here doing that bullshit okay um belinda said nola bunny i bet she's gonna be high as gas too yes absolutely she likes to get high and listen to music and get on the road yeah mm-hmm. uh, let me see <laughs> if sunny don't go sit them picky brace down she doing too much right go wash go scrub bitch let me see. <laughs> oh my goodness oh uh, she needs a hospital bed in her room to help her right i i agree with that too she needs all of that stuff it's a dungeon down there it's a dungeon and the moment you know she freaking feels like um you know she's not feeling like a normal person in her head she starts to wild out she don't need this she don't need that she don't need help no okay look at my girl lawana she said no don't leave you bring me joy and that's a good thing too you see three hours and 24 minutes i don't even stay this long so far like oh my gosh but it's nighttime i don't got shit to do I did everything today, did everything yesterday, had a good weekend. Lexine said with her outburst, she wouldn't make it past the driving test. <laughs> right. Nice 29 said that woman working, fighting with the devil within herself. And I, I definitely believe that there is a devil there. Okay. There is a devil. Belinda says subscribe, like, share everybody. Yes, we are on the road to 14. <laughs> To 14k okay so make sure you guys are subscribed share with a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend okay let's have a good time yes virgo i love it i love it maybe we should create an online petition right now look she like right now Let, let's do it golden let's do it because we have more than enough videos to have her stop this behavior which is going to benefit her kids okay like I said, things that happen with her, like it's a one big circle. We don't know if we could have somebody come in now and say, you know what? You need help with this. We're going to get you help with that. Like, you know, we could definitely do that. 
not to cause harm, but to definitely say, you know what, we need to take control and this is what needs to happen. Three times a week, you're supposed to be doing this. Four times a week, you need to be um, taking these kind of nutrients and doing things like for yourself. Like she's thinning out. She's going to be, you know, looking real terrible by summertime. Like for real, I don't give it at the end of the year. I give it by summertime. The stress of not having Marcus where she wants him. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Um, I bet it's things like how <laughs> Belinda. <laughs> Oh, I guess no worries. Let me see. Um, Golden Girl, um, the braids and wig cap just look moldy. It's time for it to end. And she talked about, oh, no advice and all that. Girl, you did what I said. You said, oh, oh I'm going to get me some braids. I, I'm going to go to the shop. Yeah. And you wasn't talking like that before, girl, until I said it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> She's too comfortable living like that. Her kids deserve better, right? And always, oh, because they, um, they're bad. They're bad. They're not bad. It's you. It's you. They are not bad. Them kids ain't doing nothing. You just be picking and bullying and bullying and picking on them for no reason. Sunny looks like she smells and the nerve to tell, um, to tell her sister that she don't take a bath. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? The pot calling the kettle black. Right. We definitely did hit on that too last night on Baddie's channel. Because like I said, we were listening to it. Um, Taz, Dalt, myself, and Baddie, we were on the panel. And that's when we got the message that she was over there being a disgusting bitch. And we definitely played it and we talked and we talked about her. We sure did. Belinda said, time flies when you're having fun. It sure do. It sure do. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I had no idea that it was that late already. It's 12 o'clock. We said, oh, wow. That's nice. This was an awesome live, guys. But I'm about to get out of here. Yes, we're going 14K next. Okay. Um, but yeah, what she did to the sister telling, you know, everybody her coochie stinks and, you know, how she not fixing up herself. Oh, she needs to do that. She was talking about herself. Okay. That was so horrible. Her dad must be, um, and let me see, an enabler. Yes. No balls to stand up to her. Right. We were saying that too, because there's no way in hell. Those are your grandbabies downstairs in the way how she's damaging them. That's okay. That means I'm like, they all ain't shit. And why doesn't she speak about her mother? she talk about her being you know the mother has mental illness and stuff and then the adoptive one is there um you know with dementia like it, it's a it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot of broken shit over there Lexine a lot and that's why I said you know she should be looking at it like you know this is I, I don't want to you know keep going with this generational curse let me let me do something that's gonna help my babies you know but she don't think like that um, Sophia said that part go wash cracking up over here. <laughs> People gonna lock up their dogs, cats, and turtles, anything that could possibly come across her path. Absolutely. That's funny. Sunny did say that her father really didn't want her there, right? It's like a it's like a forced thing that happened to everybody. It really is because she had to leave where she was at. And then she tried to talk about it and justify it. said, oh, I was going to move to Georgia anyway. You know, no, girl. Mm -mm. I don't I don't think you was going to go. Okay. But because you needed that. So that's why you went. Mocha said her mother is in Baltimore in a mental hospital. Yeah, I remember that call the other day. It was sick listening to the way how she was speaking. I was like, wow. Sunny is definitely on the way there, too. She's definitely on the way there. The way how she treats the kids, flip-flopping, doing all this stuff, not getting in help. Oh, yeah. She's definitely on that road. And I would definitely be like, look, you know, my mom has serious mental illness. I, I need to get out there and go do my thing, too, and try to, you know, stop stop what's going on. Um, does anyone have the video of the fight with the sister? Yes! This and our local T got it, baby. We got it over here. We definitely going to drop the video, okay? We're going to drop the video. We are. Um, the stepmom got dementia. Yes, she does. Um, Lexine says she's adopted. Yep. Um, wow, I got to go and watch the live. Yes, you do. Oh, Virgo, yeah, you wasn't over there. Yes. 
You was girl, you were snoring, you was knocked out, ass in the air. <laughs> guys, this has been real. I had fun talking to you guys. I'm gonna try to get the video out um early in the morning. Early, early, early in the video, um, in the morning. Um, Daddy's definitely gonna have a, a piece of that video too as well. So make sure you guys are tuned in. Um, a big time bully. And but only person she can bully is that is the slow sister and that um her babies. That's it. <laughs> Ain't bullying nobody. We don't care about none of that. Thank you for the hearts, Luana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I hear that Sonny's mom wanted a grandchild when you know um knowing that she was dealing with Marcus? Was she expecting a grandbaby or a relationship, maybe a marriage or a proposal? Yes, because she was sitting there actually like talking to her like that like you know she probably was behind the scenes telling her like oh i met somebody and being delusional and oh you know i think he's serious about me type shit because of the way how she called him you get what i'm saying so my jazzy boo said great lives sis yes thank you keisha oh keisha was over there um trolling over <laughs> Keisha, you been with Marcus? <laughs> Let me see. Virgo said, Belinda, she definitely cinched the, um, cinched the hairs out of your nose. <laughs> Not cinched. <laughs> her mother knew about her going to St. Cross. Right. Right. Absolutely. So I believe she was being delusional. I definitely believe she was being delusional and telling, and you know, yeah and telling her things that just was not true she dragged kiki about her hair on live when she got a whole chicken roast on her head the nerve right that's why i dragged her about that the other day day before yesterday hell yeah i dragged her because of that you jealous you want to call her body all types of stuff when you don't even have a body that's crazy you see what kind of world we live in that somebody with nobody at all, literally, a torso, talking about another woman's body. And I, I think Kiki actually looks good. I think she looks good. Belinda said, knowing that um, he doesn't want you there, but yet you disrespect his house. You curse the kids out. Um, you know you're getting drunk. You're smoking in the house. But you know he don't want you there. Right. Especially that night when she was pissy ass drunk and on whatever and falling over the floor and all that shit. The father just walked past her and went back upstairs. I'm sure did. Didn't say, kids, come on, let's go. It's a mess down here. Yo, take care of yourself and do this unless I'm going to get you in a home. So he's a whole fucking mess. He's, he's crazy too. I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Every time she put that, I'll be laughing. To go out so damn Lieutenant Dan. I don't know why I said that. Lord Jesus, help me. If her mom is that mental, I don't believe it was her mom asking about no damn baby. Lord Jesus, it was her. And you know, she kept talking about it every minute, right? Took my oh, I'm, I want to have another baby. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> you can't even take care of the ones you have. You can't even take care of yourself. Well, who's going, who's going to rock that baby, girl? Bye. <laughs> Not going to lie. The sister looks stink for real, for real. <laughs> Her mouth looks cloudy like a black rain about to fall. <laughs> Yo, that head is freaking crazy. The forehead, like she needs an exfoliator. She needs a lot. A, that, that girl needs some kind of motherly attention. I don't know. Hold them bitches down, okay? Grab the hoes, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she wanted that baby with marcus is she crazy is she yeah she's crazy mm -hmm. and she tries to put up old pictures of her and her kids and saying that she's a good mom those are old pictures she know that we are on her we are on here for the way she treat those kids right after that live i did the other day she put the kids up afterwards <laughs> she put her and the kids up i was like girl that's a picture. I'm sure you balked on them and dogged them that day. I'm, I'm sure you did. I ain't putting it past you. As much as the way you was yanking that baby head and, and combing out her hair. You should have saw the comb. It was mad hair in there. Then she kept like dragging it and pulling her head back. Uh, guys, definitely stay tuned for the reaction because I will be doing a video reaction on it 
on live, okay? And I'm playing that whole goddamn video. We we're we're going through it, all right? For the people that's saying that she just got like this, no, she was very demonic in that video, and you know, and you could tell that she directed so much anger towards this man. He didn't. You knew who he was before you had them babies, okay? You knew it. So therefore, them babies shouldn't have never seen you going through it with him the way how you did, okay? You you was going berserko, and you were doing it on live. And she has this whole manic personality. Oh, he blocked me, so I have to come here. No, you didn't have to do that. And you didn't have to do that while you were doing that baby hair. And yanking it and and being so upset like that's it was just crazy um please drop the link um her fight and her sister yeah um nobody um didn't put it out yet so definitely look out for that that's gonna be coming okay let me see a baby catheter a colostomy bag and a torso oh lord <laughs> And that's too much. Um, let me see the way the sister acted after she got slapped <laughs> has me thinking she's slow for real. Girl, you know she been slow when she showed that gun towards me and uh, and Danny talking about oh um uh, 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 I live in Georgia. Uh, 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 I live in. Georgia. <laughs> I said, Lord Jesus, <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget that. That's funny. That's really funny. Okay, um, Petty. Uh, that sister was jumping up and down like somebody was whipping her ass for real, for real. Yeah, it sure was. I see I need to change my schedule of bedtime hours if the fights go down during the middle of the night. <laughs> and being extra right. Anyway, guys, let me get out of here. I don't want to hit four hours. We had three hours and 30 minutes. Shout out to you guys because I had a great time, okay? I had fun. So make sure you guys um hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss my reaction. I'm going to give it tomorrow evening of um Sunny before the accident, okay? So people can stop saying that crap, okay? Um, Shout out to you, Golden, for that video because you actually just came up on my timeline. And I saw that. I clicked on the link, um, you know, and it definitely showed me another. So I was like, oh, wow, because I, I did not see that. So thank you for that. Make sure you guys check out Golden Signatures videos as well. Of course, Kiki looks good, right? And she's talking about how I was like, what? I was like, that, I love that. that looks like, that's my color. That's, I love that color. Like, bitch, you're wow. Oh, my goodness. Jealous much? <laughs> Later, Miss 007. Shout out to everybody that hit me up with the with the super stickers and the membership artists. Beautiful artists. Thank you, artists. Drop 10 memberships up in here. How you darling with the $19.99 and the and the other $9.99 darling. Yes, Sophia. Shout out to you as well. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you so so very much okay and thanks for sitting in here and listening to my potty mouth everybody have a great night and i will see y'all later <laughs>